is going on everybody how are we doing on this fine thursday evening my name is eric and welcome to q2c vr gamer live we are weekly vr talk show that airs live every thursday at 9 p.m eastern time where we go live to facebook youtube twitch twitter tiktok and kick i just don't even know why but we go to kick but if you cannot catch us live you can always catch us afterwards on your favorite podcast platform when eric uploads them god i need help <laughs> uploading these. <laughs> i need help uploading these audios uh d is gonna help us out i think but before we go any further let me say hello to my partner from the great canadian northwest the man the myth the legend himself he's 190 pounds of raw fury you can't stop him you can only hope to contain him he's the canadian walter white todd jackson what is up dude i diddly ho diddly i'm doing Could, fantastic how are you? you do you you do resemble walter white i get that a lot yeah do you I get do. that a lot a lot. <laughs> so would a Canadian Walter White be like a lot nicer than the normal Walter White? I don't know if we'd be do dealing meth or if we'd be dealing like donuts and coffee or something. Syrup? Maybe? Syrup? Deal, maybe? Deal, sure. Dealing a maple, maple syrup? I mean, cook, <laughs> cooking it up in the lab? Do I cook it up in my garage and it's too cold? <laughs> <laughs> you can't be out in a garage in this weather. You uh, can't be no. you your balls off. Yeah, never happening. What's going on, man? How are you doing this week? I'm good. Yeah. I'm surprisingly less busy than last week. Oh my god you actually didn't say you were busy this week i know right i was busy but <laughs> less busy than last week so less busy good. than last week is good i like it that's good to hear yeah. um yeah, have no, you been playing been more vr this week i did i played some more um of that uh, uh medieval dynasty wow you um, went back to it even after the video was complete i did that's um, cool those games are kind of my jam i like those they i kind of get lost in them right like they just they, they suck time away like crazy um but it doesn't feel like, you know, you know it's just an easy know. way to relax and just go yeah. in there and build stuff and cut down trees and shooting bears. Now I'm hunting bears and stuff. It's awesome. I hear you. You, you know who also sucks your time away? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, D? How's it going? It's going all right. How about yourself? Good. How about you? Med Med medieval Dynasty or whatever it's called? Uh, it? Have not touched it. Never but... heard of it. You haven't touched it? Oh, it's so Yeah, good. no. I've seen, I've seen, you know, gameplay of it. It looks interesting. So. And, and I even said that in my video. What? Sometimes it's just not meant for everyone, right? Those right. kind of games like Township Tale. I loved it. You hated it. Oh, Township Tale was garbage, bro. That was I such really a bad enjoyed game. it. <laughs> I get in there. The first time I get in there, you're like, hey, let's go. To, I'm going like, I'm going, I'm down going to the cave. cave. I'm, I'm like, dude, you don't even have clothes system. on. What the fuck? <laughs> I go down this cave system with a, with a torch I have. The torch burns out. I'm pitch black in this cave. Don't know. Can't find my way out. Starve to death in the cave and die. I'm like, yep. yeah, this game is not for me. <laughs> it's not for me. <laughs> you know, then I, I did try. I, get, I came back out, tried it again. You're like, okay, you got to build like a backpack. Well, you yeah. need 40. You got to go collect 42 different things to build the nails. To build You got to like hit the nails. In. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> extreme. Back the medieval yeah, dynasty is not like, like that at all. You I'm just like, put this. a big blueprint down and poof, there's your house. <laughs> I'm like this is not for mash but if i can't shoot something in the face within the first couple of minutes oh I'm no out. there's no shooting involved i'm out yeah i hear you i hear you I like Todd, right off the bat we have a 24 month membership a two year membership from castle and Since, they're actually uh, showing up in restream they must have updated Oh, right. That's cool. That's yeah. It. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Q2. Uh, yeah. Q24 icon. Time to get cracking, Todd. Uh, he wants a 24 month icon. That's true. You need one of those. That would be uh -huh. cool. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I have some new icons in my background. Have you guys seen? Yeah. Pretty cool. Make, it's making a pretty good impact, impact back on that wall. Ooh, a pretty big impact. I like, uh... I like the way you did that, D. <laughs> I try. Little flat to VR icon over there on the right side. Yeah, little flat to VR studios. Uh, Tass did a, did a good job ordering these. Tass, so if anybody doesn't know, Tass is our sourcing and procurement guy for Impact Reality. So when we need to, whenever time we need to order something, you know, you know, anything that has to be made or tech, I mean, all these amazing PR boxes that we put together, mm -hmm. Tass either makes them or he he sources them out and orders them and get those figured out and. We wanted some impact reality and some uh, and flat to VR like signs made up for if we ever have a booth again. And he did a great job, man. They look awesome. I love them. Yeah, no, they look great. Yeah, super good. Super and they cool. uh, kind of match with the QTC logo back there. It's pretty sick. I know, right? Looks good. Good job, Task. Good job. It looks real good. And uh, and thank you for being a, a channel member for uh, 24 months, Todd. Holy crap. A long time. Almost. 
Yeah. I mean, that's like crazy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Channel members are awesome, man. You get, uh, you get some cool stuff. You get your name in green and it says, you know, Hey, you know, when you say something, I can see you there and like, and then, uh, wow, look at all these gifted. Wow. Future, Miss yeah. Grape. Restream totally updated. I see all the Brandon people that are wrong. talking that are members. Now their whole thing is green. Daniel Kaz grabbing a this membership. Is great. Super cool, man. Channel members are awesome. They're, they're so cool. It's a, it's a cool way to support the channel for just a little bit. And then you get your name in, in green. I can see things a little bit better. And and uh, that's something we're going to talk about tonight, too, guys. We'll say hello to the chat here in a second. But we're going to do something a little bit different to kind of start off the show. And this is not something we're normally going to do all the time. But I think every once in a while, it's kind of cool because... We get a lot of people. Our chat is really active. Uh, D, you 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 kind of like take care of chat, watch chat more than more I than me, me, even Todd to do. And, and like, there's a lot of stuff going on in there, and we like to be able to answer as many as we can. But sometimes the flow of the show doesn't allow us to, or we don't see it. Most of the time, we just don't see it. Like literally, I'm trying to keep on topic, trying to figure out what the hell I'm saying. Todd's doing the same thing by running the show in the background videos and looking yeah. at stuff in the background, producing stuff. We're looking for new audio clips and stuff that I can use. Yeah. So I think what, what we're going to do after D breaks her microphone is uh, <laughs> we're going to say hello to the chat and then we're going to do just, we're going to take a, a little, a little time and just sit down and do an AMA. And then we're going to answer any question you guys have, like any topic you want to bring up, you guys say it, we'll talk about it. And, uh, you know, ask us questions or bring up a topic or, uh, you know, ask about anything, anything you want. And we'll, uh, we'll go over it and we'll do that for a little while just so we can, uh, we can kind of like hear what you guys have to say or what you want to say. Let's say hello to the chat first guys. Cause that's the main thing. That's what we're all here for. Say hello to the chat and classy grandma is here. It's way past her bedtime D, but she's here. And she says, get your butts in here. Because mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to bed. Looper the Underground Came Cat is here. Destiny Eleven Barebow Man is here. What is up, Barebow Man? How you doing? Um, let's see who else we got. Todd and D are here. Um, Destiny Eleven was in your stream earlier. I heard D. She was the whole time. She kept me company. Yeah, that's pretty damn awesome. It was nice. um, yeah, and uh, that's awesome. Uh, stick. Uh, Destiny Eleven says, "Stick around, uh, classy. Love the rants. Love those rants. Yeah, classy can get on some rants too. She's a ranter from yeah, way back for sure. It, it's the older. It's the older <laughs> person get into the rants. Uh, who else do we got here? Um, we got Gabriel 004 is here. Fourth wall breaker. Uh, as we said, Destiny Eleven. Uh, Bluebell is here. What is up, Bluebell? Mickey Barrios is here early tonight. What's up, Mickey? How you doing, man? Uh, let's see." Me and Bluebell and uh, Spry and Benny played a uh, couple of the new Horde maps on After the Fall the other day. Nice. That's a good four-man squad right there. That's a killer squad. I miss I like my it. old pal Eric. In I know. It. We're going to oh, we're gonna try and do that this weekend. Me and you were just talking about possibly getting on and streaming a little bit, maybe Saturday night. Yeah. Doing, a little, uh, doing a little flat returnal, maybe, and then, maybe. Or, or maybe VR returnal, and then, right. uh, and then doing maybe a little VR. After the Fall. Maybe we yeah, get yeah. Betty. Maybe we get Betty in there with us. Oh, that'd be cool. Ooh. Maybe a fourth, a, a to be named fourth yet. Won't be Todd because he's a slacker. I'm going to the mountains. Yeah, no, he's Ooh. always going to the mountains. No, your whole freaking country is a freaking mountain. What are you talking about? <laughs> you <laughs> live on the top no. of a freaking mountain. <laughs> Come on. Uh, ET2K.9.9 is here. What is going on? How are you doing? Uh, I pretty much butchered that, I think. Yeah. But um, let's see who else we got. Uh, Tasselhoff is here, as we said. Stub, Substatic is here. He says, what's up, players? How you doing? Or, hey, player. Uh, well, let's see. Who else we got? Jay Brat is here. Uh, we yo, talked yo, yo. Jay Brat earlier. Jay Brat dropped a nice little video earlier, Todd, and had a little Q2C moment in his video. He did. He, he did. did. His video. That was very cool. Thank you, man, um, for doing that. Out. Heck yeah, man. We appreciate it. He cut Todd right out of the video, which was awesome. Yeah, I was. You know, <laughs> well, John Chatty. Fired. Chatty is here. Uh, Looper the Underground Game Cat. Miss Grey Wolf. Todd, we have a Grey Wolf sighting. It's Grey Wolf. Like a boom, 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 Love it. Love it. How are you doing, Jordan? Uh, I haven't seen uh, is, is Tribe here. I have just seen a Miss Grey Wolf. Not I think a Mrs. I've just Grey seen Wolf. a Mrs. Grey Wolf sighting. Air, yeah. Air Force One is here. Kubo 92. Uh, let's see who else. We have Echo into the Future. Orland Hopers here, Todd. Orland Hopers Jack, yo. I was going to say, I have it ready just in Yeah, case. let's hear yours, D. Orland Hopers Jack, yo. God, that guy sounds the same no matter what he does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too funny. Uh, let's see. Who else do we got? Um, Brandon VR is here. Do, do, do. Man, look at the, the chat is going crazy already. Everybody's Chrome Colossus, Arlen Kundert. 
Yeah, got we got Inferno, Try Guy. Inferno 9. We got a Facebook user who I can't see who that is. Jesse Jesso. Hey, Jesse Jesso. What's up, man? Yeah, How are you doing? Yeah, hell yeah. Chrome Colossus. That's an awesome name. Hello, hello. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, Inferno 9 is here. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. no techno glitch. Where's techno glitch? I don't like it. No oh, there's techno glitch. Hey. It's on again. <laughs> Michelle B is here coming in at the end, and I think Art we're caught there. up. If I missed you, I apologize. It's all these these fault. We'll blame her later. Um, but cool guys, let's open this up. Let's let's do let's do a little AMA, and um, you know we're gonna we have some topics that I want to talk about tonight. Um, that are I think are pretty interesting. It's something I've had in my mind this week, but I I first just want to go through. Anything that you guys wanted to ask, you know, ask D, ask myself, ask Todd. Uh, if you have questions about whatever, you know, here we go. Uh, v, V64 pass through. Has anyone sampled it yet? Todd, have you been in your headset and had, do you have V64 yet? I'm not. I'm on the like the little fast track program to get updates, but I have not tried this particular headset to see if it's on there yet. So uh, it wasn't yesterday. Yeah, I am not Maybe on there yet. Today. I was in there. I was in there tonight. I was in there to, I was in tonight trying out two games and I'll tell you which, which both games, uh, both games, one game just really re released, um, that I've actually played for a while. Um, <laughs> the other game is actually not releasing till next week. Um, so I was in big shots tonight on steam. Big shots is a, like a, a mech shooter, uh, like a roguelike mech shooter that's coming out. It's, it's a very colorful, like borderland style game. It looks amazing. I love the way it looks. Uh, the controls are super uh, different than you've seen before. Uh, very plays very fast. We this is something we've we've seen and tested for you know I, I've seen and tested it for over a year. But I was in Big Shots just checking it out. But it's coming to Quest, coming to Steam, and coming to PlayStation VR two. But I finally got the release version sent over, and I checked it out. Todd sent you a key. Did you get a chance? I have it, but I haven't checked it out yet. <clears throat> it's very cool. Looks good. Yeah, I've been playing again. I've been playing it for like two years. I remember demoing it two years ago. At, uh, but it looks at much Game different Town. now. It looks, it, it looks way more polished. So it does. Yeah, this I'm, is the I'm final version. It, it looks cool. Yeah. And the other game we're going to talk about a little bit later. I, I played. I wanted to go in and check V Rider out because I've been playing V Rider again for a long time. Um, but I haven't. I, I didn't. I didn't know if they had updated the release version, and it did drop into the App Lab um, right before it's going to be coming live to the Quest Store. But it's in App Lab right now, and I wanted to check it out just to get an update. So. Um, Thanks, D, for the question. Uh, Arlen Cunder, any plans to do a social VR meetup uh, event in VR chat, banter, Riff XR, or some other platform? That is a great question. That And we should do that. And we, you know where I would like to do it out of all of those? I'd like to do it in Riff. Yeah. Uh, Riff XR is out super of all of them. cool. Yeah, and, and we're going to be doing a... Um, so yeah. we talked about um, we talked about Riff XR um, God, what maybe it was like it was maybe it was this past Monday on Crewcast. Right. And we were kind of like going over there's a Dungeons and Dragons experience in Rift XR mm -hmm. where you can actually have a dungeon master. We should before you get too into that, tell people who aren't maybe familiar with Rift XR what it is, because it's it's relatively new to the market, right? Like this is a social platform game, you know, similar to out of all the ones that you've listed, VR chat banter, I would say it's definitely more on the VR chat side of things than the banter side of things. Um, but it is a social platform where people can go in and build worlds and like a meta horizon kind of an idea. Uh, that's, yeah. I mean, there, there's, yeah. there's several platforms out there like this. I mean, VR, it's, it's kind of got some VR chat. It's kind of got some rec room. It's kind of got some, you know, resonate and a little Neos, you know, built into sure. it. What's cool about it for me is it heavily leans on AI and then the AI is mm -hmm. there to assist you in building things, but it's also there as, um, an interactive you know, tool inside experiences. Exactly. So yeah. the AI can talk to you. It can do things. Again, we just talked about the dungeon master and then this Dungeons and Dragons experience in there. And, you know, the AI is basically running the dungeon, you know, um, the, you know, the dungeon experience for you, you know, and, and it's random and it's super cool. But even just talking to NPCs or having it do things, it's super cool, man. And, and you know, it's it's PC and it's quest. It's coming to the quest. Um, so you can get it, you can play, you can get in yeah. there in different, different ways. And Crewcast, we, we talked about it and we were like, we need a tour and Genghis who, who works, um, Genghis VR, who works with, uh, with Riff is going to come in and give us a tour. So we're going to have, we're, we'll definitely have all of the Crewcast in there checking it out. Once we do that, we should probably do a meetup for, for Q2C yeah, in there. For sure. That would be yeah. cool. Yeah. I think That'd that be would great. be awesome. I would love to do that. D Riff XR. Are you down? 
Uh, sure. I think cool. it's a lot more approachable me than, than some of the other ones, right? Like VR chat can be a little bit daunting and a little bit scary for people. Yeah, we would need Brad to bring us into VR chat right? and like do a proper. Yeah, yeah. Neos and Resonite is PC VR it's heavy. PC. Like you need yeah, a yeah. freaking space machine in order to make them work. Rift he doesn't even have a machine that can run that. Yeah, right. Rift scale down. <laughs> Bullshit. It's my uh, my account has been in the negative for the past two paychecks. <laughs> Stop buying and, PC parts here. I know I'm done now. <laughs> What's and that? They, um, and they uh, they just have done things differently and scaled it down. So especially now with the quest release that's coming, it's going to be standalone, which none of the other ones have really mastered. Have you been in there lately? Stuff. I haven't. It's been a few months since I've been in there. So nice. It's time. It's time to get back, back in again and check Riff out. And uh, and it's it's another one that it's nice to get in with someone who's familiar with it, so you can kind of get an idea and. You're not totally terrified of what's going on. I, you know what I miss a lot is, um, remember when we used to go into like Zenith and we, 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 yeah. we, we had a blast. So we fun. got done with, we got done with the show one night. Like literally it was like, I don't know, it was 11 o'clock or, you know, 12 o'clock. And then w- during the show we said, Hey, let's just go in and, and play Zenith as many people as we can. And I want to say, I think we had 15 or 20 people in there yeah. that right. joined us. We all got into Zenith, um, hung out in, in Brahms Tavern, I think. It tavern. Was called. <laughs> Yep. And uh, and Techno Glitch was singing "Pour Some Sugar on Me" on the he stage. He was yep. the bar. on stage, and he was singing. And, <laughs> what <a laughs> nice. great. and then we went to remember throughout the world, and we did all these little um, obstacle course things. And yeah, it was super fun. It was cool. It was we we should definitely do it. I mean, I don't know if we can do it after the show. Those are things are super hard. Like I would love to do stuff after the show. It's just a little. It's a little late, but I think we should plan a night where we can definitely go in and do that, like a different night of the week. Maybe we even mm. do a Patreon in there or something like that. And bring mm-hmm. a bunch of people in there. Yeah. So yeah, thank you for that that question. I think we should definitely do something like that. And, and Riff uh, would like, be does, uh, does anyone use Alt Space anymore? And Alt Space is no longer it's gone. You can't use it it's anymore. Gone. Yeah, they killed Alt Space. Yeah. There was a lot of cool things about Alt Space. I had done a lot. Um, failed to render Comedy Club, which is one of the best comedy, mm. you know, live live comedy shows in VR. Um, started. they they started there. They're in VR chat now and in Horizon Worlds too. Yeah. But yep. um, but they started in all space, man, and it was cool in there. They had some cool things in all space. It just it was kind of unrealized a little bit, um, and they killed the platform. Eventually, it kind of went down. And we had um, uh, two Q two C spaces in all space that I had uh, developed, and there were there were neat little experiences. But there was just the support wasn't there, and yeah, yeah, we've moved on. Uh, Artful says thanks, Eric and Todd missed me. <laughs> Bloody American sending love, yo Canada. <laughs> What's the Yo Canada? Well, I don't know. Maybe he loves me more than he loves you. Maybe he's a fan of Terrence. And, maybe he's a fan of Terrence and Philip. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Who isn't a fan of Terrence and Philip D? I mean, really. I mean, if you're not a fa- if you're not a fan of Terrence and Philip, I don't know if I can be your friend. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, oh boy. Shut your fucking face, Uncle Fucker. You're a cocksucking ass licking Uncle Fucker. You're an Uncle Fucker. Yes, it's true. Nobody fucks uncles quite like you. Shut your fucking face, Uncle Fucker. You're the one that... <laughs> <laughs> My daughter is watching this show at some point. I know she is. You told him to do it. <laughs> There's kids watching this show. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, my God. Guess what you that. told him to do. It's classic. It is. It is classic. It Brian Brandon, it's classic, man. It's classic. <laughs> I've had that queued up and ready to play for like a month. <laughs> it just never really came up naturally. So, oh my uh, god, it's great. it is the best. It's one of the best movies I have ever. Like literally, every time that pops up, I'm like, I gotta watch it. I can't. This is one of those movies where it, it doesn't matter where it is in the movie. As soon as it comes on, I'm like, I'm watching this. I'm watching it, and I'll watch it for forever. <laughs> <laughs> man that's too funny uh hey we have addison moreno uh where, where is on twitter man yep. yeah. the canadian government has entered the chat <laughs> <laughs> and the american government's about to shut us down for that's putting that video fair. up yeah <laughs> dude but between between um the pina colada song last week and then the uh and then the terrence and phillips song tonight from south park <laughs> and we are getting demonetized we're getting demonetized and strikes every time we turn around I know, hopefully no strikes. I don't care about the demonetized part, but the strikes are bad. We don't want those. Ah, uh, screw it. I don't care. I don't care. D, we got any cool other questions out there? Anybody want to say anything? Or, you know, if, uh, if, if, uh, we'll move, I haven't we'll seen anything box. pop up. Classy Grandma asked, what the hell was that? <laughs> that was, that <laughs> won't even tell me you've never seen that movie. 
Yeah, I don't think she has. Dude, that Well, is... there's her weekend homework. Yeah, go <laughs> go and go and watch South Park the movie. And sure. sign up for Twitch, classy. Come on. Yeah, for sure. She doesn't have Twitch and go hang out with D. Yeah. Um, this is a good one, Haruku. I was actually just about to ask this question to Todd. Uh, anybody watching Fallout? Because uh, oh, I've I seen a ton that. of people watching Fallout. Heard it looks excellent. I'm a huge Fallout fan. Todd, did you watch it? I have not yet because it's one of those that I'm going to have to binge. I, I, if it's yeah. anything like as good as I liked Halo, I'm not. And, and thank God it's on Prime because they released the whole freaking series at once. I don't have to wait a week. It's just <laughs> all there. I can watch it all. I, can't I know, wait. right? It's going to be so exciting. Uh, right now, if you're a Prime gaming m person, like if you have Amazon Prime, go to the Prime gaming website and they're giving away all kinds of Fallout shit. Nice. Including That's like cool. three different Fallout games, 76. Uh, I can't remember them all. For Xbox, PC, you name it. I'm a huge Fallout fan. I mean, you can, and, and you can actually play Fallout um, in, in VR mm -hmm. with a mod, which is great. Um, there's a mod mm -hmm. that you can play it. And it's actually really, really good. But I've really, I've, I've been wanting, I, I need to finish Halo first. Like I'm still probably, I'm still in the middle of Halo. Um, I got to finish that. Uh, there's some stuff on Apple TV that I'm wanting to get into. Uh, and then freaking now Fallout, like I don't have time, man. So Addison says he's four hour episodes in and they've uh, done it justice. It's worth a binge. That's what I like to hear, man. Yeah, if, if you can, do, do you know how many gaming franchises they have butchered in these? I know. <laughs> What was it? Yeah. What was the one they really did? Was it Res? I didn't. I didn't watch it. it, it Resident, Resident Evil was so series. bad. It was bad. I heard so that was bad. terrible. Like that's see, that's my fear. I can't watch these things because I'm a huge Resident Evil fan too. So to me, if I watched it, it would ruin. It was. Resident I didn't Evil. even finish the first season. It was so bad. I don't care what so, anybody says. Yeah, that. so that's why bad. I was afraid of Halo because I heard so many people saying bad things about Halo. Wait, there was a, a, Re a Resident Evil. Yeah, show? yeah, it's a T like a TV series, like you know, like um, Halo or like you know, Mandalorian. Oh, no. It was, uh, it was, and it was, they, I, I didn't, didn't see know. it, but again, everybody said it was terrible. But I, I'm afraid to watch okay. those things again. That's why I have it with Halo. I'm a huge Halo fan. I'm like, I don't want to go into this series and watch Halo. Everybody's saying it's bad, but then Todd said, I, he was like, I binged it, it's amazing. And I'm like, okay, well, now I got to go try. See, and, everybody has their opinions yeah, exactly. and taste on stuff, you know, so you give it a try, you give it a couple episodes, it don't work, then. Move on. And something else. So, it yeah. seems that we're on the topic of television. You know, this is a good topic. Why not? Uh, Artful put in, he's British. You should watch The Gentleman with Guy oh, Ritchie. I want from to. 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 It is good. He yeah? is such I a have, good I haven't even heard of that. It is really good. Yeah, it's a new series out with, uh, produced by Guy Ritchie. Really? Addison, mm -hmm. he was a fan of the Resident Evil. What? He's like, pump your brakes. Resident Evil was classic. He was, it was excellent. He said it was the best thing he's ever seen. Well, maybe I might be paraphrasing. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm reading it. That's not what he said. <laughs> uh, sounds like that's what he said. Um, uh, oh, yeah. uh, Steve Portal says, "How long does it take to get used to content creation?" I've been at it for five months and still still exhausting. It, it never <laughs> ends. No, no, we've been. We, how long have we? How long have we been doing this now, Todd? Do you even know? Like, it's probably been. I don't know. It's, it's three plus years. Um, we're we're three years in. We've been, this is the 130th episode of, mm -hmm. you know, of Q2C VR Gamer Live. Um, I, I, content creation is funny. Like, I love recording and, and I do li like some editing, but the problem is it takes so long. Um, and it's, it, it, it's, it's exhausting, especially when you, if you have a full time job, which most of us do. Um, right. you know, and, and then you have to get in and you have to, you know, you, you, the recording itself can take you, you know, a couple hours. Usually and it does, you don't have to record forever, but you know, three hours of recording or two hours of recording could be f seven to 10 hours of editing it, at least. Yeah. It depends on what it is you're editing and, and how long it, and, and you learn as you go. So when you're first out, you, it's definitely going to be long process until you streamline the things that you like. You, you make templates on the things that you always put into your videos. That always helps. Um, we've cut our, most of our game videos down to now under 10 minutes. And that, that, you know, these to be half an hour long and my God, that would take days to edit. I hated it. Yeah. But now, you know, like I did the, I did one that's dropping tomorrow and I probably spent three hours editing maybe, mm -hmm. but it's good to make a script, record the stuff you want start recording your your commentary or whatever it is you're going to talk about 
And then I'm, I'm constantly jumping back in the headset because I need footage of something else. So I need footage of this. I need footage of this settings menu. I need footage or whatever. And, and that just comes with practice. The more you do I, it, the, the easier it gets. And then it's repetitive, re like rewatching. Think, think about this. You know, oh, you, you have to watch yourself <laughs> on screen over doing and what over. you do over and over and over again. Then even when you get it all the way done, you have to sit there. You know, So if you have a 20-minute video, you have to sit there. And then after you're all the way done, just watch the whole thing right before it's finished. Just it, so you didn't make sure you miss anything. Like, yeah. you know, one missed transition or one missed thing here or there. It, it, it just can be a daunting thing. But, I mean, people, I get enjoyment out of it. I do. I, mm -hmm. like, I like creating content. Um, the, I love I, it. I get, we, we always get good people who met, you know, met, you know, Bluebell is one of the always one first ones on a, on a video, just like saying every hey, video. I, hey, I great content. It. Thank you for the content. We appreciate it. Those small little the things like that. Keep us going. Yeah. That's all it is, man. It's like one per, it, as long as I gave one person thought or two people thought, you know, what we put out there was good. So that's what I would say. Escape portal. Like it, it's not going to get any easier, but if you get enjoyment out of, you know, giving, entertainment to other people then i think you keep doing it and if that means um, recorded content that you edit or if that means live shows i mean we're very lucky that we do get to do this show and people enjoy this show because this is an easier lift and not saying it's easy but it's easier to do a live show than it is to do recorded content with edited so we get to come on here once a week and have content and be able to talk to everybody but you know not everybody's good at doing this you know what i mean people some people are better recorded than they are live so I don't know. I, I I would say do what you like. Um, you know, so if that is, you know, gameplay videos or editorial videos or, you know, just getting on and talking to your audience and recording, uh, talking about a topic. Talk um, about news or something to start with, just because it's easier and you don't have to record stuff. You can use footage from the internet and things like that. So yep. Or do gameplays with other people, other people and content mm -hmm. creators that you like. That always helps too. Like I enjoy going in. And recording content with other content creators that I get a chance to play with because we always have a good time, and then it's easier for me. And then I can laugh at ourselves. I can laugh at our, you know everybody when they're, no. we're we're editing later. So that's always fun. Yeah. But yeah, I would always say just uh, you know if you're getting enjoyment out of it of uh, of letting other people see it and do it, and then I would just keep doing it, keep doing it, and it's not going to it's not going to get any easier. Trust me. <laughs> um. All right. What else we got? Anything else? Uh. Yeah. We had one from uh, Classy Grandma. Just. How long does it take to put together a show? You know, the I'm show she means like tonight. Yeah, the, sh the shows are a little bit easier. The, 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 the hardest part with the shows um, is figuring out what you want to talk about. And there are easier times and harder times for that. Like there's sometimes like this week, there just wasn't a ton of news. You know, there was a couple of good games that dropped. There's not a ton of news out there that hasn't either already been talked about. Um, but that's the biggest part of it. Just figuring out what's engaging, what we want to talk about. Like, I don't ever want to get down here, get on here and have D be bored and, or me be bored or, or Todd be bored about what we're doing because then it does, and then it shows and you guys are like, wow, that was kind of a shitty show. Yeah. Um, you know, because you, you know, cause you, you, we can't fake it. Like I can't fake it. I can't come. I'm not a fake person. I can't come on and fake a show because you'll know it. I just guarantee you'll know it. Like mm -hmm. the people say to me all the time, like, you know, when you go on your rants, you know, do you fake your rants? Do you just do them because you want to do them? I don't, I don't, I'm passionate about them. You could, I, I couldn't fake that. Trust me. I get, I mean, there's a good chance that we we're aware the rant is coming, but yeah, what yeah. he's actually going to say, what I'm going to rant about even, uh, yes. we don't script anything. No, no, no we can't <laughs> and then that's why sometimes you don't see them like i haven't actually had a rant to go on about in a long time um mm -hmm. i just haven't felt fun. passionate enough about anything to really rip it apart um you know but i i think you know i, I think that the, the toughest part about the show is just it, it's not a ton of time it, it's time but it, it's not a ton of time but it's uh it's just thinking about it but i i, I think i can speak for todd and d it's never easy to do but once we get live I love doing it. Like then right it, now, it comes like, easy instantly. Yeah. yeah. Like, like I still get nervous before shows. I know. You know, D talks about this all the time. Like she still gets nervous. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, I don't but know. Like it's... it warms up, you know, you start talking and then it, it, it just gets easier. Like I am such a, I don't like being the center of attention, but this show has definitely helped me work on that. And I'm more comfortable in front of the camera. Oh, don't put no, dude. <laughs> well, I know what's coming if over. Doing work the fucking camera. Well, come on, you're perfect now. You're sent over ten. Tell us, everybody. Uh, Dee, sing us a little bit of the song. Then. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. 
It's just uh, it's, <laughs> the, the show itself is pretty good. Uh, it's it's when we get in here and we start enjoying what we're doing that always shines through. I would say that's the same way for me than any 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 show I do. Same thing with crewcast. Like crew crewcast is you know it's it's daunting sometimes to have to have a Monday afternoon and go do that. Um, but once you get in it, you love doing it. Same thing with uh, virtual strangers. You know, sometimes we go live at. 3 a.m. Sure, it feels like we day. go live at 3 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it feels like I'm up till 5 a.m. doing spiritual strangers, but I love doing it. Like as soon as I go live, I'm like very, ju- ju- um, you know, jived and, and juiced into doing it. Um, yeah. So we got yeah. a $9.99 <laughs> super chat. Here's a little something for the eventual <laughs> demonetization. We are definitely your getting uncle, demonetized. Uncle you don't eat or sleep or mow the lawn. You just fuck your uncle all day long. <laughs> hmm. What's going on here? See, here's the problem when there's no news. <laughs> oh, come on, VR world. We need some help here. Otherwise, it's going to get crushed. Oh, man. Too funny. Too funny. Uh, I couldn't help it. Sorry. Oh, man. Uh, right. Barry Dunn. Yeah, said, Barry Dunn. How's it going, Barry Dunn? Thanks for coming in. Uh, says, don't think Eric's had a decent rant since he got his Vision Pro. Yeah, I, I'm loving my Vision Pro, man. I'm still, I'm still. Maybe down there's like it. a hypnotic Zen like state that it puts you in every day because you, you're still in that thing every morning. I, I pretty, pretty much, yeah. I mean, uh, there's you know sometimes when I like I'm too busy in the morning or I have to like get right to work and like do a video or you know get on a video call or something where I can't. But most of the time I do, and like and, and anytime I'm consuming media, it's my media device. I'm doing it in there. Um, yeah, and I'm still working in there in the morning, take, doing all my emails in there. I, I love it, man. Um, Cool. That's cool. It, uh, let's see. It would have been nice to be able to use it if I had been around, you know, in a city or a location that you were in at the same time. And maybe if you had had your headset at that time, then maybe I could have tried it on. But I know, right? That Should didn't seem to happen. <laughs> uh, Hair Force One says, Eric, is there any possible way to get crew cast to air any later in the day? And I don't think so. Um, just figure this. Okay. When crew cast goes live at 4 p.m. my time, which is Eastern time, um, gamer tag is in europe he's in england so he's five hours ahead so when we go live for him it's 9 p.m when we go live for him so by the time we get done it's 11 11 30 12 o'clock at night for him so really there's really no way to go later um when when you have when you have a mix of different time zones it's just you have you don't really have a choice it was just like something like like with, with this show we had to decide early on like when are we going live what day are we going live what time mm-hmm. are we going to be live? You know what I mean? We, we wanted it as well at the beginning. It's not like we picked Thursday at nine o'clock Eastern or right off the hop. Yeah. And that's why we went to reality bites for a while and tried to do the Saturday show. I Saturday shows reality were a lot of fun. Bites. I know. And I, and gamer tag mentioned the other day that he would love to get back in and do a reality bites show. And I think we're going to try and, um, you know, uh, schedule one of those coming up soon to get back in and do a reality bites. And then if anybody doesn't know what reality bites is, it was a Saturday show that myself and D and Todd and Gamertag did together. Um, it was pretty cool. I mean, it had a good theme song. Chill. You still got the, the Reality Bites theme song? Is it even in um, there? Still? Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. was the best theme song after this one. We're not listening to the whole thing. Yeah, no. <laughs> I can't fast it. forward it. So. Uh, it was a cool little. Uh, it was a cool little theme song. I love it. I love it. We'll get back. Can to you that. let we'll... it play and then bring it back up when no, it's just oh, where it is. God. It can't. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it'll let you do that. Unfortunately. Do you remember when the last reality bite show was? I don't. I don't. Do July? you remember March fourth, twenty twenty three? Wow, it's been a it's been a it's year, been over, a over year? a year over a year. Wow. We didn't do any last summer, eh? Wow. Nope. Wow. Yeah, we, we had talked to, about bringing it back for the summer, right? Uh, Bluebell says she has a reality bite shirt. Yeah, I don't even know what happened to mine because I've worked two <gasps> fucking times. <sighs> Back to grandma says that be jamming. It was a jamming tune, man. It I remember when uh, I remember when that came up. I remember when we came up with that show, man. My uh, we mm-hmm. were I was in I was in San Francisco and we were trying to figure out names for that show. And my wife actually came up with the name Reality Bites with the B Y T E S in there. She did a good mm-hmm. job with that. Um, anything else for questions? Nothing uh, yet. Uh, what's See, the Mickey Mario's dropping a whole bunch of keys, man. 
You Another rock. question from Classy Grandma. She's just firing them out left, right, and center. What's the best game you guys are playing right now? Ooh. VR um, two that I've is been, like, up my time. Next mustard for oh. me. Good. Nice. And you know, I play my flat and I'm on a wreck fest returnal kick right now. Very Oof. nice. Um, my favorite game right now <clears throat> is a flat game that I can't tell you about that I am looking into for flat to VR studios. That is an awesome, awesome game. Um, so, uh, in this, in this, in this new, in this new flat to VR thing we're in, you know, I'm having to jump into this world of flat gaming to see what games might make sense for virtual reality and what classic games or what new games that are coming out soon breakfast. make make sense. Breakfast? You want breakfast? Breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I am. Uh, I'm currently, you know, checking out some super cool freaking flat games. So I, I'm back into flat flat gaming i mean i'm doing it in my uh, i'm doing it in my, my apple vision pro with steam link um so i'm doing it in a vr headset at least um but yeah these are some these are some games i'm just testing out just trying to see if it it makes sense for virtual reality and uh and i'm telling you i, I just want to say this real quick i am having such a good time with flat to vr studios do you guys have no idea how amazing it is to be able to hang out with the team beef team um you know yeah. hang out with all the the, the guys dr beef you know baggy um you know bums are the, the whole team beef team and just kind of like brainstorm about what what we what we can work on and what we can build and what we can do for the future you know what i mean and then you know then i get to hang out every day with rocky parta um who is yeah. genius behind firewatch and the stanley parable vr mods and you know and uh outer wilds you know and, and others and then you know hanging out with cabalistic who did the half-life 2 vr mod and, and others. right um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's amazing. I, I love this new path that we're on for impact reality, trying to bring some of the amazing games to VR. And, uh, yeah, so that's, that's what I'm into right now, man. Flat gaming, unfortunately, but it, unfortunately, to be, why, why does it gotta VR be unfortunately, dude? I, VR. I do want to enjoy VR, but I, I, I'm very, very comfortable with checking out these flat games to see if we can bring them to VR. Cause that's my ultimate goal. Bring all of these classic flat ones to VR. Todd, how about you, brother? Um, I actually jumped back into Gran Turismo. I played it, uh, I don't know, last Sunday with, uh, I played with the Zimtox crew. Nice. First Sunday yeah. of the month. So, uh, I got to play on Sunday with him and, uh, like 16 of us. It was super fun. Um, I didn't stream it this time. Maybe next time I'll stream it. Uh, but it was, it was so much fun. And the, the more you go in and the more cars you unlock, then, you know, we we do, I think, 10 races or something, and each race has a specific car style that you can pick. Um, so as long as you've got the best car in that style, you have a good chance of, you know, being top three or winning or something. So the first couple of times I played with them, I did not have those cars, <laughs> and I did so bad. <laughs> so it was uh, it was much more fun when you can actually race with the big dogs. And these guys are all, like, hardcore simmers, right? Like, big times. They're all in chairs and moving chairs and steering wheels and... And I just play on my little controller here all by myself. And yeah, I did pretty good. I got third in a couple There's races. A you don't have a wheel and pedal? No, I just haven't bought one yet. I keep looking God, at them. I, I just have wheel. Sell your big screen beyond that piece of shit and go get a wheel and pedal, man. <laughs> you know, and it doesn't come off the wall since I put it up there. Yeah, it's a piece <laughs> of shit. I told you it was a piece of shit. I was back then. I'm like, don't go buy it. And you're like, uh, I'm waiting 10 years for it. And they're like, I'm like, you're not going to use it. You're like, well, I'm waiting for it. They're going to give it to me eventually. It sits, it sits on my little uh, shelf over there. It looks good. Very pretty. Pretty. <laughs> it's pretty. So tiny. So well, let me ask Got my prescription question. lenses in there, but I want to get back to some of these questions here. Cause there's some good ones here, but very quickly, just tell me, why aren't you using it all? No, I mean, I already know because it's a piece standalone of shit. games. No, yeah. it's not because it's a piece of shit. Well, if you're going to play just... TVR, what are you playing on? Uh, quest three. I just use ah, link. I push the button and it works. <laughs> I, know. I'm saying. I know. I don't need a thousand dollar headset when I got a $500 one that plays it just as good. <laughs> Sell the big screen beyond. Go sell your Valve Index, and you go get a go get an Apple Vision Pro. Oh no, it's gonna just go on the shelf behind me. What the Apple Vision Pro? No, not the Apple oh, Vision Pro. What's I still go can't the get them here for like six months. So what well, the hell I'll am I gonna get one? 
and it'll only cost me five hundred dollars to ship it <laughs> freaking ten bucks to Canada, right? Um, Artful says, Eric, your Lynx XR1 is in Paris. Do uh, <laughs> do you soon? Here's another. One. I am never receiving. Yeah. Leave I my big screen alone. You and your fucking Lynx. <laughs> Stan LaRoche put a put a Twitter a Twitter post out the other day. Another pallet full of headsets going on. I'm like, where the hell's my pallet? Five years later, my, where was my <laughs> headset, dude? God damn, this thing's gonna be more outdated than my DK1 I've got back there by the time I get that Lynx XR1. Yeah, um, it's gonna stay in the box. It's gonna be the only headset on your wall that doesn't come out of the box. Uh, yeah, I might keep you know what I have over there that I so I, I changed my background, I put a new thing up, and I was able to finally start putting some of my, my stuff back up there. You know what I have over there? I have huh. a deca move brand new in the box. Oh, why did you get that? I have a deca move. I order I I back the deca gear. No, I oh. back for if you guys remember, um, nope. Deca Gear was um, a VR headset. Uh, Todd, can you grab a picture of the Deca Gear while I'm talking mm -hmm. about it? So this was a headset that was that it was announced. Oh man, probably three years ago now, maybe four. Um, it was a cool, futuristic-looking headset, and you know they were like out the window on the specs. And I mean, you remember this was three or four years ago. They're like, yeah, Deca Gear. It's going to be the next big headset. We're going to sell it for five hundred bucks. You know, it's going to be a, a great PC VR headset. It's going to have all these things in it. And they were like, for ten dollars, you can um, you can kickstart back it. Yeah, here it is. It was super cool looking, right? Yeah, it reminds me of like um, like um, like a like a transformer head or something like that. Yeah, like Bumblebee. Like, it looks like a like Bumblebee. Head. Yeah, yeah, like Bumblebee. You know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. guys. But but yeah, so for ten bucks you could back it, right? So I'm like, I'm like, you know, screw it. I'm for ten bucks. I'm like, I'll back this thing. But I would, but and, and it never came. They end up going, they end up completely going out of business. Yeah. But it was uh, what was cool about it is I was able to get the tracker as part of the package, and they actually shipped the tracker. It was the only thing that ever shipped was the stupid Deca Gear tracker. And I and by the time I got mm -hmm. it, I knew they were going out. They were by the time I received it. It was like the last thing they did. They were just like a little tiny business. little hub thing. Yeah, it was just a, it was a tracker that you were supposed to put on your belt that was and you could use your phone to like track where your body was. So it was a cool tracker. It was a great idea. It was freaking four years ago or three years ago. Um, but yeah, I have it in the box still over there, which is cool. There it is. The Deca move. Oh, it's, hey. it's in the box and still in the shrink wrap seal of the box. That's how I <laughs> never, <laughs> touched never touched it. That's hilarious. Too funny. Um, so yeah, so I don't even know what we were talking, <laughs> what we were talking about. Um, let's see. There was some questions here I wanted to get to. Um, uh, all right, let's see. Um, can, can, James James uh, says, can uh, flat to vr bring Wheel of Fortune to VR? Is that like a popular game? Like, I mean, I know what Wheel of Fortune is, but is I would a love. Video I would game? actually love to spin the wheel in freaking VR, dude. Just I'd actually <laughs> grab the wheel and. <laughs> is it? Exactly. What, what wasn't like the Gray Wolves and like a whole bunch of people getting in to VR and going to play Family Feud somewhere? In Resonate, well, Neos. Was it, it was a Neos. It's in Resonate now. I can see where I could see where where those games For would sure. have appeal, or right? Room even. If you could get, can you imagine being able to be on Family Feud and having that set up, especially if you had like an AI host that was, that was like, uh, yeah, that'd be cool. A good AI you host. Riff. Yeah. That, that would be cool, man. I would um, love Family Feud too. Yeah. I'm like, Blue 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 Blue. deal or no deal. Hair Force One. That would be a good one. Oh God. Um, that would be cool, man. There's some, pr I guess you could do a, if you could do a game show, I mean, I think it would be tough to do one game show yeah, but you'd you have to do, do like, like a compilation game you show do a game. Compila yeah a compilation of like five or six games yeah, i yeah, think yeah. that would be sick but shit can you imagine trying to get to go get a licenses from all these games like yeah oh, good crap. luck yeah god i'm good but i don't think i'm that good um, <laughs> hey, you never know until you try mesh oh, i tell you I, nothing is off the table i will I, I i trust me i'm making phone calls to people that i'm like <gasps> I, have no, I have no business I looking to I this person. just had a great idea double dare i don't know what that like is i don't know what that what? is Oh my oh, god! Oh, the Nickelodeon well, double yeah. there with the oh. green slime. It, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm way too old for that. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're way too, yeah, we're way too old for that. Yeah, um, that was not a yeah. thing. Bluebell says uh, Tribe and Jordy were funny hosts. Um, <laughs> I'm sure that was hilarious. <laughs> oh, and Wes did mention that uh, when I mentioned all the people that I work with at uh, you know with uh, Impact. Now I did I, seeing him is is a big part of my day too. That is very true. I love. It's Wes. true. Yes, that's true. <laughs> love seeing Wes every day. 
Uh, we got a couple uh, questions from Arlen Kundert. I'm just trying to find them so I can pop them I got them in our private screen. chat. Yeah, I got one here in chat. Uh, if you want me to read it, or do you want to read it? If you look in private chat, yeah, D's got a whole... Yeah, I know. I was just grabbing it to pop it on the screen. Oh, okay. Uh, RTS question? Yes. There we go. So, you want to read it or want me to do it? What are your thoughts about mixed reality RTS that bring back RTS the way StarCraft Brood War did back 25 years ago? Um... <sighs> Hmm, what ahead, game you are you first? specifically talking about? That's a good question. And, and it, it, so I've been thinking a lot about RTS um, very recently. And uh, so it's an overall question. Should they bring back RTS in mixed reality? I, I got you. So there are some R RTS type games out there mm -hmm. um, for, for VR. They're mainly space games. Mm -hmm. um, there's no real. See, to me, RTS is Command and Conquer. I want Command right. and Conquer. I want Red Age Alert. Age of Empires. Uh, yeah, well, Age of Empires. Yeah, I guess. yeah, we're no, no, you're there. Um, but yeah, I mean, to, to me, it's Command and Conquer. That, that in Red Alert, those are the Red ones Alert. I want. Yeah. Like, I want that. Like, I think, I think that could be done in VR. And there's even new games out that are coming out that are like those games. There are there are RTS strategy games that are still coming out now. You just have to do them right for virtual reality. And I think there's a way where you can combo both. Like if you could control it like in a God mode where you're still seeing the top down of the map, but you're manipulating everything, everything in VR and you still have VR presence. But then what if you drop down into a third person mode? Think about Command and Conquer and all those vehicles. You had air vehicles and you had tanks. Like and a, had turrets. Well, there's another game that has that kind of perspective change. Um... Well, I mean, like uh, Captain Toonhead kind of had that where you what got to did? go into the towers. Um, no, the other one, um, they're coming out with version two at the end of the year. We bumped into them at C at uh, GDC. I'm totally drawing a blank. Oh, um, you're talking about? Um, uh, oh, I know which one too. It's Aaron and uh, and yeah. Anthony from. Um, oh God, I'm like oh, I'm I'm totally drawing um, a blank. Yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's that game. Archaxer. <laughs> Archaxer, that's it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, very yeah, Archaxer does something like that. But right. I'm I'm thinking of, you know, bringing a real RTS. But more of an RTS format, but yeah, that same you know, perspective I, change. I you want, can leave want, 3D I, or third person view and then zoom into first person view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I want the real RTS where you can go in. I want to I want to be I want to like set up my mining stuff where I can go get, you know, mine for ore so that I can turn that into, you know, science and like unlock new weapons and new vehicles and new troops and build bases you know and i want to go out and be able to attack and defend my base um you know i, I want to have different terrain i want to have different you know air i want air vehicles i want land vehicles um you know i want to i, I want to build that whole thing so like i want i want command and conquer that's what i want like yeah, I, say, i'm not just, saying it has to be the name yeah but it, it, because getting know, the name that, is tough. Like, who's getting right, it? Is, right. Can you get Command and Conquer? Maybe not. But I definitely think there's a way to do it in VR to where it can be fun. Um, but in mixed reality, which would be oh, cool shit. to be able to do it on a tabletop or something. Because right now, right. like you said, everything is space right now. And do that in mixed reality is not... It's doable, but it's not quite the same, right? If you could put that RTS board down on your coffee table or in your dining room table and walk around it while you're, you know building and conquering yeah that that's another very, thing very too cool. <laughs> that's another thing too i mean even, but you know even take the mixed reality out of it put it in vr and put it to the point where you can actually walk you know instead of just manipulating yourself around the map with your joystick what about you you can actually get to come down and walk around your map you know what i mean in, in like a big first yeah, person mode or you can actually you know like like demio where you can lay the board down and make the board the size of your living room and then I walk around that. the entire the entire board that's the things yeah. i want to do and like I think if they're well thought out and you do them properly, they definitely can. StarCraft, you know, Brood War, you know, those type those of games. Great. You know, yeah. uh, Arland, it was a that's that's a good question. Um, Escape Portal says, "Have you seen? Have you played Underdogs?" I have played Underdogs, not not since it came out. I think it's a good game. It didn't grab me, unfortunately. I don't know why, um, but I think it, it's a really good game. But he's saying game of the year. Um, not my game of the wow. year, but I think it's. I think it's a good game. I think it's a great game. It just didn't grab me as much as I thought it would. I haven't even tried it yet. It's sitting in my library. But the, <laughs> the reviews were not stellar, so I, it just kind of passed me by. Yeah. We do have a uh, $2 super chat from Hair Force One. Game show in <laughs> VR, the price is right. <laughs> that would be a good one. Come on down. Could, yeah. Bob, be... Could we get Bob Barker in there? That would be sweet. <laughs> yeah. Bring Bar no Bob Barker back Bob from Barker. the dead. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Hey, AI Bob Barker. 
<laughs> we did read that super chat from Bluebell, right? For the nine ninety nine super chat about the yes. demonetization. Monetization. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Bluebell, you rock, by the way. Hair Force mm -hmm. One, thank you. Thank you for any you know channel members. Um, that was one of the things I had in my notes earlier too. Is I, I did want to just say, and we don't always get a chance to say. It, I want to say thank you to everybody who supports us in any way that you do, and support can be mean just liking, you know, thumbs up on a video, coming here and hanging out, uh, coming to our Discord, uh, watching a video. Uh, you know, it doesn't always have to be, you know, doing a super chat or it doesn't always have to mean, you know, being a Patreon or, you know, whatever. So we just want to say we appreciate you guys watching. We appreciate you guys being here, hanging out, listening to what we have to say. Um, you know, what we were telling um, the Skate Portal earlier about, you know, doing doing it, doing, the, doing these things because you want to, you know, if you make one or two people happy. That's all that matters. And we do read all our chats later. We, we go through and we read every message that you guys leave, whether good or bad. We don't always get good ones. We get bad ones, too. <laughs> but we read them all and we try and answer them all as best we can. And uh, just because we appreciate you guys. And um, but, yeah, we just want to say that, you know, thank you guys for being here. We know there's a million other places that you could be. And you guys show up every week and and, uh, and then watch our shows. And we uh, we want to say thank you very much. Um, Air Force One says 54 watching. That's actually not true. There is 100 watching right now. We have 100 strong watching because we actually stream mm -hmm. in other places. We only have we have 55 on YouTube, but we have other places. So Restream tells me, Todd, we got 100 watching right now. I see 100, uh, 100, bounce between 101 and 100. Yep. Awesome. We soft. appreciate you. Thank you guys for hanging out wherever you are. If you're in YouTube, if you're in Twitch, if you're in Twitter, if There's, you're... Uh, um, I can tell you exactly where they are. There's nice. uh, 13 people watching on my Twitter feed. There's 30 people watching on your Twitter feed couple people in facebook watching 55 people in uh, youtube watching we even have somebody over on twitch watching brandon br says we got 50 on kick baby let's go kick. <laughs> i don't even think kick worked today it's not even Dude, on my if, list, so. listen to me if 50 people went into kick kick would be like kick would fall over and pass out they'd be like holy Maybe, crap yeah. we actually have people servers are down man <laughs> oh man it's too funny but That's hey yeah, we funny. appreciate all the thumbs up thank you guys very much anybody who is here if you again small things are always appreciated and uh you guys rock i just want to make sure we said that because we don't always get a chance to say that but um we do appreciate you all right guys any more questions or should we move on um some great questions by the way i love every, what everybody's mm -hmm. thinking um let's see i just want to make sure we didn't miss anybody uh substatic has got one is anyone still playing asgard's wrath 2 uh, it's like a big splash and everyone dropped it after a week. I played it for a couple weeks. I, I was probably 25 hours into it and I did stop playing it. But I think if I didn't, wasn't obligated to play everything that comes out, I think I probably would have stuck with it. Um, and now I should go back because I really had fun in that. Like that was yeah. between that and Arizona sunshine. It was a stellar Christmas. It I was. think Spry has played a lot of Asgard's wrath, right? Spry, I think. He's, I don't know if he's finished it yet or not. I know I need to get back into it. I've only put in like a few hours, but Looper, the underground game, game cats that they've beaten Asgard's Wrath too. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. We're, we're the, like the worst people to ask those <clears throat> questions to normally because we just don't have, we, we, a lot of times we have to play a lot of different things. So it's, it's, we, we normally can't, but I can tell you this because we normally can't stay with a game that long. But when we do finish a game, you know, it's epic. You know, it's something that's special. Yeah. If and, I've, cut out that kind of time in my life to play a game to the end. It's good for sure. Yeah. And you know, um, w w that was for both of us. That was Asgard, um, um, Arizona sunshine, Arizona sunshine too. Like that was mm -hmm. one of the ones that I made sure I finished in a super busy holiday time when there was a ton of games. It was mm -hmm. two games. I completed all the way to the end PlayStation VR two version of, um, resident evil four. Right. And Asgard's wrath Two, start to finish. Oh God, dude! I keep it's forgetting. So yeah, like I want to go back to it now. It was great. I got a chance to play, put my PlayStation VR two back on. You know, from a, a long time last week because we played some games for Virtual Strangers, man. And I, I love that headset. I just, I just want more from from Sony. But I love that headset. It just really everything looks good in that headset. Um, let's see. Um, thousand thirty two says he finished Medieval Dynasty last night. That's crazy. Hey, we got Ben Taylor. Finish. <laughs> yeah, Ben Taylor uh, says came here from Twitter, which was twenty ish, fifty five here on YouTube. First time watcher. Thank you for awesome. being here, man. We appreciate Thanks it for coming by. Thank you. Um, let's see what else. Um, classy, classy grandma says, "When is your first game coming out for Flat to VR Studios?" Um, 
So hmm. we are hopeful. We are we are working on a game now. Currently, we've been working on it for some time. Um, mm -hmm. They are working super hard. We have an amazing team uh, working on that game, and um, we are hopeful that we are going to make you know a holiday deadline. We will announce you know hopefully soon what that game will be. Um, but you know it's possible it could move into twenty twenty five early. But you know we're we're working we're working our asses off. Trust me, the team the team is working every day um, trying to make sure this thing is ready. But if you guys know anything, you'll know this. Between myself, Skiva, Jasmine, Elliot, Wes, wise director, what have we said, all of us, for Todd? Uh, how, what have we said for all this time? Don't release, the game. A, don't release a game that's not ready to be released. So mm -hmm. while we are pushing for this holiday deadline, if in any way we feel it's not ready, we will not launch it. Like, uh, there's just no way. Like, we can't. Like, you know, if we don't learn from our own lessons, we are the dumbest people in the world. Like, we say it all the time. So, right. yeah, those those are our goals, and uh, we appreciate it. We'll we'll try. We want to make sure these games are out for you guys for holidays. We want to make sure that everybody can can enjoy it. We're gonna take out every stop. We'll, we'll do everything we can to make sure it's there. But if it's not ready, we won't ship it. We won't ship it. And that's the way it should be with everybody, really. So hopefully we'll set the example. Yep, for sure. Typical Kiwi is here. What is going on? It says uh, more like, please, I can only see 31. 31 what? Likes. Oh, Somebody. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us more likes. We have a Facebook user. We have uh, replying to undefined. Hello, Carrie Yellow Marshall. Oh, excellent. hello, Carrie Yellow Marshall. Looper How says, when can we expect to hear the game names? They will be uh, held in secret until further notice. <laughs> <laughs> Hair Force One has said Area 51 many times. I saw somebody said Halo. I know, he keeps saying it. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, some really good, there's some really good good guesses out there. Um, Arlen Carter says, I'd rather a game come out uh, in a year, be done right, rather than come out next Tuesday. I'm, uh, I'm uh, nothing but a free beta tester. And be Sweet. nothing. But, yeah, exactly. He doesn't want to be a beta tester. Yeah, I agree, I agree man. A hundred percent. This early like, access thing is kind of getting out of hand. <laughs> yeah, yep. It is definitely. <laughs> I mean, I, I, we try so many games now, and I'm like, we just, it, you're not ready, man. And just, you, you got, you're not ready. Tasselhoff says, "When is your next conference?" And that's a really good question. Um, next conference for us is going to be uh, AWE, uh, and I think uh, myself and Jasmine Skiva and Elliot will definitely be there. Todd, I think, will be there as well. Yeah, I'll, uh, I don't I'll know. Sure. Don't know if anybody else from the team will be there, but definitely us. Um, Todd, myself, Jasmine, and uh, and Skiva and Elliot are doing. Uh, we're doing a talk there at AWE, which is great. Uh, we're doing a panel. Um, uh, and the you know who's you know who's uh who's our panel host? I do. It is awesome. It is uh, the amazing Adam Bombadi yeah. is going to be our panel host, and uh, so we're going to do an awesome talk on uh you know trying to help developers about talk to them about launching vr games and how you do those things so um but yeah it'd be pr pretty cool I, i'm looking forward to uh to awe uh ben taylor in chat says i'll be speaking there um first one in long beach yeah and yeah. awe which has forever been in um santa clara right uh, yep. is now moving to long beach and uh and it's awesome ben um super cool um let us know what do you uh what's your talk going to be on in uh in, in uh, yeah i'll definitely come watch yeah, for sure. We'll be there. So for sure. Um, Lair Anderson is here. How you doing, Lair? How's it going? Yeah, Eric and I did a talk coming. last year. Was it last year? Year before last year? It was last year. Yeah, last year at AWE we did a uh, talk on community building in the VR space. It was great. It was good. Yeah, it was cool because we. I mean, we have had a lot of a lot of success building community in Facebook, building community in YouTube. Um, you know, on different platforms, and it was nice to kind of shine a light on that for you know some developers and game makers who are trying to build community around their games especially multiplayer games so mm -hmm. and um, even though there was cool. a bunch of content creators in the audience too that were asking some good questions near the end <laughs> yeah the that was the best thing to me the question and answer afterwards was that like was the best. yeah it was cool yeah uh radio run says wreck fest it, it up while listening to the show get your nice. ass in here radio run get, i want he you, you wreck fest it up focus <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, I, Wreckfest is pretty cool, man. This Dude, did you, did you see this other game? Um, what is it called? Um, Trail Out. There's a game coming Trail out called out. Trail Out on Steam. I don't know if it's coming out on any other platform, but it looks super cool, man. It looks like coming a, on a PSVR as well. It looks or like a, it, 
it looks like uh everybody go look up don't leave here but, but go look up trail out on on steam it looks like um it looks like a wreck fest kind of type of game it looks really cool uh mr lord beavis has shown up says what's up what's up mr. Lord beavis how you doing uh steve is and uh um todd has thrown the the link uh, for that in there yeah it does look good actually i want to hear radio run sing uh what was that song d don't close your eyes. <laughs> How have you hell? never heard that song? <laughs> you had never heard that song until that uh, until that I point? don't remember. I may have, but it just I mean Kicks I know. Kicks is an all time eighties classic band out of Baltimore. They're amazing. Kicks. Go check them out. They're still they're still kicking it today, man. They're probably like eighty <laughs> years old, still going. Kicks um trail out is good says radio run that's awesome mickey barrios dropping uh dropping a key for wanderer damn bro i want to give a quick shout out to uh, q creator who's actually providing mickey with these keys this week i saw the note go past nice. super fast a while ago and courtesy of q from of mike mm-hmm. is mike he's, here he's mike's in... heading to england he's not going to be able to do too many live shows yeah so he's off for him he was in chat i think at the beginning but he might not be net now he uh he's off to see his mom in england kicks awesome. is a terrible serial says virtual strangers but it's a great 80s rock band but kicks is terrible <laughs> kicks kicks was awful yeah i agree kicks is for kids isn't that what it was todd who do we got in chat just chopped it dropped in dropped big ass super chat scott all right back in the house <laughs> <laughs> that's not the right one i feel like q2 the motherfucking c and d man thanks scott you're awesome man you uh you you do this i, I you do this like every week man you're you're the best i appreciate it and i'm wearing unbelievable the, uh, wearing the combat waffle tonight i wore my mine to work the other day combat everyone waffle. was that yeah and they were like who's combat waffle so then i had to show them their website <laughs> and show them the game and they're like oh my god i actually was out somewhere over i, I was last weekend i was out with my daughter and uh, she had a she had a, a tournament a uh, softball tournament and I was out there and people were seeing it. And like uh, some of the, the kids on, from the other teams were like, I thought you made waffles for, <laughs> for a living because <laughs> it said combat waffles. So it was, that was too funny. Dude. Are you a baker? Like, no, no, no. You're like, no, no, I don't, I, don't make, like. I, don't, I don't make waffles. <laughs> I don't make waffles. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Mr. Hat- Tasselhoff says, still think about those Ghost of Tabor epic boxes. It's and right above your head. Yeah. If you take a look right there I'm right dead one. center right underneath That's the dino so cool. box right there as i have that beautiful mm. ghost of toro box and that ghost of tabor box that i have right there is a one of because it's actually smaller than the normal boxes because it was one of the first ones that me and Tass tried to figure out if what was going to fit in the box fit everything so, in there yeah, yeah so exactly i have a one-off that nobody even has so it's super cool but yeah thank you for that awesome super chat scott um yeah, I guess yeah, I got some awesome. cool stuff coming up with Combat Waffle and Ghost of Tabor that I don't know if I can talk about yet, so I'm not going to say it. But um, stay tuned, man, because uh, I, I got a chance uh, to do some pretty cool stuff and uh, and hang out with those awesome dudes again. Very cool. Soon. Um, all right, so are we, are we done with all these crazy questions? Should I move on? Uh, I haven't seen any other questions lately. Okay. All right, let's move on a little bit um, to a couple of these topics, and then uh, and then we'll uh, we'll try and get out of here at a decent time tonight. Um, yeah. All right, so let's talk about V Rider. Um, D, have you do you know what V Rider is? Have you had a chance to check it out? Um, because it dropped this week onto the uh, the to App Lab. The App Lab. App yeah. Lab. Yeah. I haven't had a. Uh, I ha- Here's that again. <laughs> <laughs> take two um i haven't tried it myself but i have watched gameplay of it and it looks freaking amazing you know the graphics even like racing down the track everything looks freaking awesome and the fact that you can you know if you duck down and get behind the glass on the bike like it that makes a difference in the game and that's that's detail and attention to it in the game so that's you, cool. and you do todd did you play it yet Oh yeah, I've played a ton. Can you, you remember I ride a bike down? So yeah, right. I have a motorcycle, so th- I was like super cool. Yeah, I stopped riding crotch rockets a long time ago just because I'm old and I don't want to break myself. Yeah, uh, who so else to be has able a crotch to ro- rocket? 
that's what we call them up here. I don't know what you guys call them. <laughs> Super bikes are called crotch rockets. <laughs> uh, to oh, be able to man. ride it in VR and, and actually feel like I'm riding it is pretty sick. Uh, they were it, at um, GDC with an attachment. Yeah, they that, and they're going to sell that. How to mass produce that sucker? Yeah, they, no, they already have. It's already going to be. It's it's it went. Oh, good. So, so the game dropped in App Lab, but it's it already has it's it's it already has approval and and date to go to the regular store. So right. it's coming to the regular store very soon. They kind of just dropped it on App Lab as a little bit of a test. Get it out there. Get some tracks out there. It's not even the full game yet. Um, but once you know, once the game goes to Quest Store, it'll have everything unlocked. Um, and it'll be full game. Um, but when it does, they're gonna have this accessory um that you can buy that it's basically it's basically like a stanchion, like a pole, um, that has the like a T bar. Like, it has a T bar and it has um spots where you can put your quest controllers and it has like the throttle like a motorcycle so you can twist it and then it has a spring on the vertical on the vertical bar to where you can go like this or like that you and lean, move your bike lean it. yeah so cool <clears throat> so cool and uh, you can twist now but you you're doing it up in Got the air camera. like it'll be nicer <laughs> when you can grab onto oh. something this is a game I think you need some tactile. You need a, you need like a steering wheel you would for a race car game. But I could see a race car game with a controller, but with the motorcycle man, you need that throttle. You need that feel. What what I like about this game and, and, and the and the the peripheral is awesome, but you don't you don't have to have it. No. I played a lot of it, and I've been play, I even played a lot of it tonight before. Um, you don't have to have it, but it'll be cool to have it. But you don't have to. And what's really cool about the game is, um, number one, it looks awesome. You know, being on a motorcycle and the sense of speed and the in a quest headset, it looks great. And it and it and the sense of speed is there. The, all the sounds, it sounds like you're on a freaking motorcycle doing 300 miles an hour. Um, yeah. The controls are spot on. There's a couple of different ways that you can control it, but like D said and 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 Todd said, to really really get you know fast times and get and go as fast as you can, you have to get below the windscreen. And there's no way to do it other than sitting in your chair with your vr headset on and just kind of leaning forward in your chair and in the game getting down behind the windscreen so you don't have the wind drag on your body and then when you go to make i mean think about we've all seen these super bike races right where they're like down like their knee is like that far from the road and like they're really like or they're scraping into the turns flying off because they're scraping on the ground yeah you have to physically do that not that far, but you still have to like tilt your head to get that. You have to lean into the turn that, you know, I mean, right. that's, you know, you can only turn this. the steering wheel so far. Yeah. It's not this. It's this. Right. It's, it's that, <laughs> but then you have to lean and it's going to take, <laughs> awesome. it knows where your headset is. Right. So it knows yeah. how far you're leaning. So that helps you get in and out of the corners really, really tight and really fast. You know, who loves getting out of the corners tight? My mom. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's for the 105 people watching out there <laughs> um, <laughs> um yeah so i mean it's it, it, it's it's very cool i love the physics of it it looks great there is like you can do endurance races you can do quick time races you're going to be eventually be able to do multiplayer um when the full game and if comes you're intimidated out. or if you've never ridden a bike there's a solo mode where you race against yourself so you race around the track once and then you become a ghost and you race your ghost to make sure to see how you can improve on your turns and on your leaning and they really thought it through. It's really fun. Yeah, no, they've done a great job with this game. Like they, and I, you know, there's, I don't think there has ever been a racing there's game, like a like motorcycle this. racing game like this. No, there's been there's, a VR game on App Lab. There was a couple motorcycle games, but you just use the thumbsticks. Yeah, yeah. Nothing yeah. like this uh, with an immersive ride. This is just crazy. Yeah. Bluebell says it takes crazy. it takes some getting used to, and it does. But if oh, if for you, sure. but for me, if it, if I got it immediately, I would get I would be bored. Like like I don't I don't want it to be easy. I want it to be like a, like every game should. Like take you, yeah, exactly. You got to learn the corners, time. learn the path. Yeah, oh my exactly. god! Do you know how many times of the licenses? Do you know how many times I've taken some turns in Gran Turismo that trying to get some of the best times? <laughs> yeah, shit, over man, and that over. Game, <laughs> oh, dude, when that first, when Gran Turismo first came out, I. I, I did licenses. I had some. I did 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 times trying to beat like Z Storm times cool. and D's yeah. and yours. Yeah. Um, yeah, it does. It does. Well, it, it will. It's it's not easy, but you have those moments where you're like, poof, I got it. 
boof, I got it. You know, you'll, you'll get into it and you'll be like, all right, man, I got it. I finally got the feel for it. Taking those turns coming out of the chicanes. You'll feel like you'll, you'll, you'll have a really good exit or a really good entrance and a really good exit. And you're like, man, I got it. And then you'll come around the next turn and you'll completely wipe. So it's just and one it's of those like, things where you'll, or you hit the straightaway and you duck behind the glass and, yeah. and that just gives you that extra two, three miles an hour to pass somebody here. You, cool. you have the feeling of being a super bike rider, which is what you want. Like that's what VR is all about. Give me the experience of feeling something that I'm never going to feel. I am never going to be a super fucking bike rider. I'm <laughs> never going to do that. There's no way in my life no. I am ever doing this. Like I would skydive before I would do this. <laughs> Uh, I would swim with freaking sharks before I would you know, put me in a shark cage with a great white before I do this. So that, this is never going to happen for me. But if I can do it in VR and it makes me feel or gives me a feeling like I, I'm doing it, that's freaking kick ass, man. That's what yeah, VR right? is all about. Um, all right. Uh, got a Jasmine got? sighting from VR with Jasmine. What's up? She's okay. no longer VR with Jasmine. Thank you. She's just Jasmine. Oh, she's just Jasmine. She's just Jasmine. Oh. She that. doesn't pigeonhole herself, bro. You can't put Excellent. don't don't put Jasmine in a corner. All right, you can't <laughs> you control go, her. Todd. You can't, you can't, you can't, no, <laughs> you can't control Jasmine. How dare you? How dare you? Um, there was some other questions up here. Uh, Hair Force One said, "By far the best group of VR chat people ever." After after you leave a thumbs up, give yourself two thumbs up. You're all freaking awesome. Welcome and just all around great people. Thank you, Air Force One. And you have Thanks, probably the best name out there, uh, Air Force One. Amazing. Yes, I'm um, steal it. I think I might have already still, stolen it in a few games. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Virtual Strangers is Great White, another one of Eric's favorite bands. I love <sighs> Great White. I love Great White, White Lion. And Kix is from San Diego, by the way, not from Baltimore. <laughs> uh, no, but they play in Baltimore now. Now. Yeah, that's all. That's all they play is in Baltimore. You can, <laughs> if they like, I mean, they'll travel around those shows, but like, yeah, they're they're that's they're their home. Yeah, base. that's their home, baby. Right? Um, more VR is here. Says uh, is laughing their ass off, which is awesome. Mm. And uh, Jasmine says no corners for her. No corners. Um, Excellent. All right. Uh, was there any other questions? We should uh, watch the trailer. <laughs> yeah, let's watch the trailer for V for V Rider. It's 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 super cool. Um, you guys have to check this game out. Um, there's not many race, racing games out there. I'm telling you right now, there's not. Go, don't go play Grid. Okay, Grid's a piece of shit. Oh my god, don't play Grid's, Grid. Grid's probably one of the, one of the worst games I've ever played. That was a lazy ass freaking port by Grid. If you want to go play a racing game and feel speed and actually have some decent graphics that don't look like fucking pole position from this the Atari 2600? Yeah, this is crazy. This is on a Quest headset. I know. Yeah, don't totally play crazy. Go go, go play V Rider. <laughs> Nice man, it's a it's a great it's a great trailer. Um, mm -hmm. it, it it does give you a decent like look into what the game is all about. Um, I didn't even mention yet that it is actually uh, a game that has the license of SBK, which I, I don't think you know. Superbike championships are like big things here in the U.S., but apparently it's huge in Europe. Like, huge in Europe. Like, yep. We have some European people out there watching now. Tell I mean, is, is Superbike Champions and that type of racing big in Europe? Because that's where this is. I think that's where a lot of that comes from. Like, like I know that there, there are races here and people do follow them, but I don't think it's the same, you know, type of, you know, mass following as they, they do have in Europe for these things. And, man, it, it, it is very cool. It, 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 
I love that trailer because it gave you the one look of a real, you know, super bike rider getting down into the turn to where they're almost like horizontal on the road. And, yeah. then they, and they clip it over to the game and damn it, if it doesn't, it feels exactly like that in game, man, because you're leaning in your chair um, and they do recommend you play the seated. You're leaning yeah. in your chair all the way down and the farther you get down in your chair, the better you're going to be on the road because you're going to be able to take those turns a lot tighter. Um, it's super cool. Um, it's just, and again, everybody out here is in the people are like, oh, I love grid. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Grid was a good game that looked like crap. That's the problem with Grid. You know, Grid and Grid Legends are good games. If they actually brought Grid to where it looked good, I thought it would be a good game. The problem is it looked terrible. And they mailed that game in. Like, they could have made that yeah. game look way better. But it looked like it, would look, it looked terrible. And they didn't do the game justice. I actually like Grid as a game. Play it, play it, play it anywhere else but, but Quest. It's, it was, it's okay. But don't give me Atari 2600 graphics on the Quest because I know it can do better. I mean, do better. Be better. Don't make me rant. I'm in a good mood. I was going to say, rant incoming. But before that happens, nah. we got a super chat from Hair Force One 499 says, my brain just said that Dusk Till Dawn would make an awesome VR game. I'm down. That would be sick, man. That would Dusk Till Dawn cool. was a great movie, dude. Yeah. It was oh. a series of movies. Was it a series? I remember the one. It's been remade. No, Clooney and uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, who was the oh god? Clooney's best Cruz? movie. Isn't that who yeah. that was? Uh, who was the older? No, who was, who was the dad? Selma in that Hayek. One? Or Selma <gasps> Hayek. Selma oh. Hayek. Yeah. Oh my god, that had people in it, man. Oh, yeah. dude. That was I think, think that was her first movie. First movie, maybe. Maybe Selma, Selma Hayek. I think so. I oh, it can't be. Maybe I don't think so. Maybe. I think. Maybe. Hair Force One says John Bon Jovi starred in one of them. In one of what? Uh, in one of the definitely uh, wasn't the first one. Non. No yeah, way. I'm telling you, there's a whole bunch of them. Uh, yes, loving V Rider, but definitely needs optimizing for the Quest Three. And I think you know that, it, and that's something you got to be careful, like because I think they will. The problem is, is you have to upfront make them ready and available for Quest Two. And that is hard to do everything at one time for launch. So a lot of that's why a lot of times you see these Quest Three optimizations come afterwards. Like, After. Think of a game like um, Genotype. We we were talking about Genotype because it's such a good game. It just came out on PlayStation. They didn't have they, they didn't have upgraded Quest graphics when that first game for, first launched. It was right. a, a month or a little bit later, or maybe a couple months later. They were they updated it to the better graphics for the Quest Three. And I think you're going to see that a lot. Um, maybe actually you might not see it as much moving forward because I really think that some games are going to start kind of putting the quest coming there. out of the gate with that. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, Red Matter 2 did the same thing. They came out with a quest three update not long after launch. Uh, and theirs is kind of unique because in the game while you're playing, you can actually turn it on and off and see the difference. Yeah. Yep. But I mean, this is, it, it, this looks great as it is. It really does look great. I mean, it, it's a good looking game. The speed is fast. The sound that's one of the things that's like missed is how great it sounds like motorbikes have a very distinct sound and they sound badass. And this thing, when you do it, sounds badass. It's got a couple of different control fig configurations too. So you can either drive it using the trigger, you know, you can use the, the you can use right. the, the accelerator or the, the throttle by just the trigger, or you can actually set it up to where you have to take your controller and turn your controller like this, just kind of spin your controller in your hand. Yeah. So it really makes you feel like you're, you know, you know, revving the throttle revving on, a, on a bike. I yeah. think I'd have to sit on the ground and not in a chair to do this because I'd end up falling out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need a sturdy chair. Yeah. For sure. I, was thinking, I, I have this chair in... here that's kind of yeah. behind me right here. That's a um, swivel thing. Mm -hmm. And it the chair tips. It feels like I'm going to fall down. You need a four legged chair. <laughs> you need a good chair. Yeah. And, and what I would also do is uh, try and make sure you don't have something with arms on it or lower. If you have like a, a computer chair and you can lower the arms, try and lower the arms. That will help you a lot, too, just to be able to kind of lean into things. An extra lean. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Um, let's see. What does Wes say? Our advanced racing engine recreates a realistic racing environment simulating aerodynamics, a neural network for AI and vehicle dynamics with high efficiency. Who's that? Is that this game? <laughs> I don't know. Is, was that where you got that? I don't know. Does he mean him? Personally, <laughs> does he does he mean what Wes is aerodynamic? I've seen Wes. He's not aerodynamic. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Wes after a virtual strangers marathon? He's definitely not aerodynamic. 
Oh, that's too funny. Uh, seatbelt D, Artful says, you need to put your seatbelt on. That way you won't fall yeah. on your chair. And I think uh, I think Wes was talking about. I think that's what the, uh, was a quote from the from the developer. Maybe it's yeah, definitely not a quote from the grid that. develop. It's definitely not a quote from the grid developers. I can tell you. <laughs> I can tell you that. <laughs> no. Yeah, Wes says I might be familiar with this title a little bit. Wes might have wrote think? the press release for this title. Yeah, <laughs> he has it ingrained <laughs> in his brain. Um, no, oh, too funny. Uh, but yeah, it's a cool game. You guys should definitely go check it out. It is again. It's uh, it's 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 coming. It's it's out now on App Lab, but it's it's absolutely coming to the Quest Store shortly, and uh, I think you can get a discount right now if you buy it I think now. Twenty percent off right now. Yeah, if you get it early, and when you when it goes to the Quest Store, your license will move. It's not like you have to buy it again. So right, which is great. Which is you know yeah. that's what I want. Like, give me you know if you're gonna do that and you're gonna launch in the Quest then to the App Lab, do that. That's a great way to do these things. I, I think it's a really good idea. So go check it out. That's V Rider. All right, what do we got next? Let's talk Google. Um. Have you seen this news where Google it has they have their their summit or their 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 big announcement yearly announcement thing coming up and they've said uh, over the last couple of days that there will be AR announcements at the at the Google press conference that their yearly conference that they do. Um so number one that's big news. We know Google's been working on something with Samsung. They were working on something on their own. Yeah. Um, you know, they had the, you know, they had the daydream years ago, and then they were working on the Iris, which was their AR project that kind of like fell away. And then, you know, now, but I, I still think Todd in the background, they've always been working on AR. I don't think they've ever stopped working on AR. No, I agree. I don't think they've stopped, but I think Apple's jump into the market has, uh, kind of let a fire under their ass to, to get things moving quicker than maybe anticipated. Cause I know that they've gone back to the drawing board from what they were originally going to talk about and release has kind of been completely redone. So I think they've seen what Apple's done and thought, well, shit, they've put all this stuff in their headset. If we come out with something slightly better than a Quest 2, people are going to shit all over us. So it's got to be something fantastic. Um, yeah. Or two. May 14th is the is their press conference. I'm right. And, and it's going to be two fronts here. So, uh, it, well, I think it's going to be two fronts. So we know they're working with Samsung on a headset that's going to be very, uh, very close to what we think the Apple Vision Pro is going to be. And that was actually supposed to have been announced at the end of 2023. Uh, at least it was supposed to have been announced and it wasn't. Um, they pushed it back. And a lot of people are saying they probably pushed it back because of the Apple specs had come out by that point. Yeah, that's what and, I said. Yeah. Yeah. And they exactly. needed to, they, they needed to re, they, they needed to refigure how they wanted to do things because they need to get that closer to the Apple Vision Pro, which I right. think is a smart move. How many times have we seen headsets launch? And by the time they launch, they're already behind the eight ball. Like you can't, you can't do that. Like you can't come out now after, yeah, exactly. Big screen beyond. <laughs> what a, what a freaking big piece of shit that thing is um you can't yeah you know don't even get me started um but you, you can't do that like xr xr elite did that the htc yeah. vive xr elite did that i like the htc vive xr elite i think it's a good headset i think it launched at the improper time if it had launched a year earlier it would have been in great shape right you can't you can't launch your headset in the spring with an xr2 chip that's gen one and then have Meta come out with their XR2 three months Gen later. Chip three months later, yeah, exactly. Can't do that. And, and you know, and Samsung and Google couldn't do that. They knew it. At least they were smart enough to say, "Hold, let's reconvene, figure this thing out, make sure that we get what we need to get out of this headset, make sure that it's in good shape, you know, to where it's a it's a good viable headset." Like I think it, it needs to be priced well, and it needs to be close enough to the Apple Vision Pro but priced well. Like, so I, th right. I think it has to have a lot. It doesn't have to have everything that the Apple vision pro has, but I think it's going to come close no. uh, and be a standard. Well, like I said, it can't be a quest three. It has to be a substantial piece of gear. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's going to, it's not going to be a quest three. It's going to be, it's going to be between a quest three or, or a quest pro and whatever this, whatever the Apple, you know, the Apple vision pro is. So that's why I think we're going to be very close. Like I think, I think you're going to get, I think you're going to get a lot of what you want, but I think it's going to be affordable. And Todd D, I think it's going to be a VR headset. Like I think you're going to be able to play VR. So that's one of the things, and it's not confirmed or anything, but I, I think this Samsung Google headset is going to be a workflow headset exactly like Apple is. But I do think you're going to have, you're going to be able to hook it to a, for, to PC. 
Yeah, I do I think you're going to be able to play PC stupid games. if they didn't allow that right away. You know what yep. I mean? Um, I, I don't know if they'll have a standalone store. Like, I don't see, I don't know if I see that. Do you see them having a, a, a quest ecosystem where they have standalone games? No, I don't. I, I don't. But I do see them having a store. Like I the see Apple them store. having the Android store yeah. and being able to play 2D Android apps, thousands of them, exactly. just like you can with iOS apps inside the headset, which do might you, entice people to develop for Android ecosystem to make a VR mode for their existing app that's already on the store. Like, I don't, I don't think you're going to see any of the Quest games going there. I think that's silly. And I don't think that's their market nor or their interest. Um, you're going to yeah. be able to hook this up to a PC and play PC VR games. And you're going to be able to do workflow. You're going to work in this headset is what I think. Yeah. I, I don't see them having a store where the, I mean, I do see that there will be VR apps just like the, just like the Apple vision pro will have VR apps or, or, or AR apps. So I think they will be there. I don't think we'll see a gaming device like the quest. You know what I mean, um, that's why I really think the quest pro two or whatever the, whatever that headset is called or what it's going to be really has a chance to be the best of both worlds, what we're all looking for. Because if you can get me to that, if I can get close to an Apple Vision Pro with a meta headset, if I can get close to what that is for a, for, for a decent, affordable price. And you can give me PC VR and standalone VR. And I have all the games that are available on the Quest Store. That's the best of both worlds. What's the biggest issue with VR people with the Apple Vision Pro headset? Content. There's nothing yeah. to do with it. Right? Yeah. This doesn't play VR. There's no VR. You're watching movies VR games. with your friends. But let me give but give me everything that the Apple Vision Pro gives me. And then let me play all the quest games and let me play all the PC VR games. For, so this is the Quest Pro 2 you're talking about. Yeah, for two thousand dollars, say. Yeah. I mean for twenty five hundred. In. In? D, you sell on your computer to get this? This this Quest Pro 2 headset? The no. Samsung Google headset? No. No, 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 hmm. dude. You know how much freaking money I just put into this? I ain't buying nothing. <laughs> uh, Eventually, I'm maybe. buying food for the next couple of months, and that's it. No electronics. I ain't doing shit. Yeah, games maybe. Hey, I just want to say thank you to the 114 people watching live right now. This is kick Dang ass, it. man. I, this, these numbers are insane right now. Um, so yeah, across all the platforms, we have tons of people watching across all different platforms so restream gives us a total, total number we just like to say thank you, you guys we appreciate you watching across all these different platforms um uh, twitter uh twitch were you in kick you said no kick huh i know it doesn't look like kick kicked man we'd have 500 people if kick were here all right <laughs> <laughs> and, and, oh my god what a dead platform and actually you know if i look in the back end it does say we're streaming to kick so maybe we're we're on maybe we're on kick who knows i have no idea I love but the that. question is, is anybody else? Oh, we are on kick. Yeah, I'm on their website. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah, nobody uh, else is there. We're the only ones no, there. there's nobody there. <laughs> um, so the uh, other thing about the other thing about Google um, is we think that we're going to see the Google um, operating system, the Google VR AR operating system that's going to be announced. So that's why I said two fronts. You know, we're going to see, you know, Google is definitely going to be pairing with Samsung and maybe other partners too, but this operating system, this, this VR AR operating system is the other thing that people think are going to be announced at this, you know, at this, um, the summit conference that they do. Um, and that's a big deal, Todd. I mean, that, but this is that operating system that they try to get meta to, to take, you know, Meta's like, I, I don't want to be in your Android operating system. We want our own operating system, but this is going to be Google's. Yeah. Right. Like they approached meta and said, Hey, you guys should start totally change your UI and go with the set with the, with the Google UI and meta said, no, which is probably smart, right? Cause yeah. they would have had to give over their entire game database so that it could go onto the, and, and the, uh, the Android store, which wouldn't have been smart. So I'm glad they uh, kept it. I just hope they take the, you know, nitpick from all these different UIs that people are coming up with, with all these new headsets and mm -hmm. improve the UI on the quest ticket headset because it needs some improvement so oh 100 um we have a we have somebody over in twitch the king shava says does eric have any vario headsets behind him i wonder and i do i have yeah. a vario arrow um behind me um that vario was nice enough to send for me to to check out um they were you know that was arrow was a cool headset arrow the arrow was a cool headset it was just it was like i don't know it was a mistimed headset but it was cool i mean uh, it had some down it had some problems no controllers no headphones yeah. no microphone um but you know for had, what it was price tag 
it was 900 and, or a thousand bucks or fifteen thousand bucks, bucks i think at yeah. the same time at the time yeah. yeah yeah so it was expensive but it was an excellent headset like to me if you're a simmer there's a couple of headsets you go to and that's you know vario arrow um you know now you go to the pimax, pimax crystal or pimax akx um the pimax the elusive pimax 12k where is I have that a AKX right there? <laughs> kind of hard to see. It's all blurry. Still, still in the clouds. Where's the, where's the Pimax 12K? Pimax oh, has man. a new, uh, has their Pimax. They have a new headset front, coming. They have their Frontier uh, announcement coming up soon. And a new headset um, coming. And a new headset coming. Yeah, a new headset. Uh -huh, and uh -huh. I don't know, Pimax. <laughs> <laughs> Pimax. I love Pimax, man. They're freaking so I mean, I want to see what they, they, uh, they messaged me. Like they just said, Hey, you know, we have an announcement. We're going to send you, I just want to let you know, we're going to send you, you know, whatever is coming. Um, so, I mean, I, I'm all for it. Like I've said for years for Pimax, I, I applaud Pimax just for being in the space. There's not many headset manufacturers out there. I mean, right. Meta's got the market cornered. Apple has jumped in. Samsung, Google's going to be here. Valve. Who the fuck knows with Valve? I don't know. Brad doesn't even know. If Brad doesn't know, nobody knows. The Deckard like, is a mystery. Yeah. Like, come on. Like, when's that headset dropping? You know what I mean? But, but I, I gotta, I, you know, whatever you say or whatever you feel about Pimax, they're here. They're here putting headsets out. There's not many out there doing it. Like, I gotta applaud them for what they're doing and what they're trying to push forward for VR. And, you know, and I think they're, they're getting closer, Todd, right? Like, like I think 5K so. with the 5K was meh. You know, remember the artisan? Remember the Pimax artisan? <sighs> remember that I mean, flop of like, the headset? Yeah, piece it together yourself. Uh, and then you had, you know, the 5K, and then they did come out. The 8K and the 8KX were actually a really good headset. Um, you know, for the price, maybe it wasn't the best headset, but it was it was actually a good headset. And then I think they they have made a jump with the crystal and gotten into standalone and got you know their own controllers that are decent now. Um, and now they have oh, the is the wireless thing released yet? I don't know if it's the like, yeah i it. don't know if that is really i haven't heard it might be i don't know that's a good question i'm not sure we got to demo uh, that at a closed door demo and at ces yeah ces yeah i don't know i, ha I have ha i have I, I wish them well uh you know like i say before like there's nothing wrong with more competition we always bitch when there's only one person making headsets and then everybody bitches when there's a bunch of people making headsets. So I don't know what to, what to tell you. I like yeah. that they're damned in the, if you in do the and theater, damned so. if you don't. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think you have to have some parody. I want, I want other headsets. Like I don't want, I don't want Meta just to dominate the market. You know, I don't want to see just Apple dominate that side of the market. That's why I'm super happy and excited for Samsung and Google. Google getting back into VR and AR is a good, is a, is a good thing. Samsung, Samsung getting back into VR is awesome, man. That's huge. Remember the, yeah. remember the Sam, Samsung? You got to remember, Samsung has been in VR for a long, long time. Samsung did the original Sam, the, the, um, the, the Samsung, um, what was the Oculus headset? Oh, uh, uh, the gear. They did this, the, the gear, VR. gear, yeah, gear I just, VR. I got one just the other day. So Samsung did the gear VR with Oculus. You know, that was Carmack's <laughs> baby was Samsung gear VR. You know what I mean? That it was it, it was given out with new phone. You bought a Samsung four or whatever it was, seven or you know, yeah, whatever, you and, a, and you got a Gear VR for free. Free Gear VR with it. Yeah. You know, and then they made the Odyssey. Samsung made some good Windows mixed reality headsets. I mean, they weren't like, you know, the they weren't, you know, mass market headsets, but they were decent headsets. Sa Samsung made the Odyssey and they came up with the Odyssey Plus, which was also a decent headset. Um, I, I know some people that swore by those headsets. They absolutely loved them. Odyssey was popular. Yeah. You know, it's it was the Windows mixed reality kind of platform that was not great. You know what I mean? That was, you know, that was Windows problem. Um, I, I have a Acer Windows mixed reality headset here that and I loved it. It was one of the, the first headsets I ever used and got me hooked into VR. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean Samsung being back, Google being back. Right. I mean, Google did the daydream. You know what I mean? Google was here, mm -hmm. has been in the in the market. You know, having them come back, you know, after we're coming off of uh, a year of 2023 in the tech industry and in the VR industry, the gaming industry in general, having all these people still here doing these things is a big deal. Like, I, I want them. Like, I want Vario to come out with another headset. I want to see, you know, I want to see. A, a, so HTC is coming out with another headset. Pi, uh, Pico is coming out with another headset. They're not mm -hmm. done. Like, all these companies are still have headsets. So, they're not gone. We're going to have headsets. We may have headsets more now than we've had at any time in the past because of some of the... we got the DECA gear coming. I'm just kidding. No DECA gear. going to say what? <laughs> <laughs> I got... Wait a minute. Hold on. I got a Lynx XR1 coming. 
Oh, oh yeah, I'm sure you do. <laughs> April Fools. Dan is going to deliver my Lynx XR1 in person. He's coming all the way from France to deliver my XR1. Yeah, just for you. Yeah. No. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, you know, you know, HTC is still out there. They're still rocking and rolling. Uh, Laird Anderson's after uh, cardboard, the Gear VR uh, was very accessible. Remember the, remember the the Google cardboard? Oh, oh my, my God. God, they were rough. They were very rough. But remember what was the other cardboard? Oh, it was the uh, Nintendo Labo. Does anybody remember the Nintendo Labo? This was the I remember this was, it. Never tried it. <laughs> this was Nintendo's. Like, okay, we'll we'll give you kind of vr i didn't even know it was <laughs> build your own vr um you know like you had to like push you had to like piece it together and uh it was kind of like you got it as a kit and you had to build it and then oh man it was uh it was rough um i don't know uh so artful says somnium space somnium is supposed to they still have a vr headset um yeah. you know we have the visor coming um you know i don't know if we'll see it this year or next year what I can't remember what Renji said, but you know the visor is coming. Um, it's supposed to be this year. Um, I'm I'm still hopeful. I'm still hopeful. I'm sure they're running into bottlenecks, or I haven't heard any news from him in in a couple of weeks. So yeah, I mean, I, I so I mean, there's going to be lots of headsets. You know, it's it's no. there's going to be no shortage of head. I mean, six is making his own headset. Six Live is making his own headset. Yeah, right. Can't wait for that. <laughs> I can't wait. No, it's going to be a cool workout headset. Um, it's a very specific headset, right? Like he's yeah, it's got like it's he's not like, trying to replace the Quest. He's right. very focused on a on a uh, a workout type headset. Right. It's going to be like a workout headset, and you have mm. um, like gloves, like I don't know, mm. like power. It's like the Nintendo Power Glove. You put almost on. yeah. <laughs> I want the Power Glove. That would be cool. That would be cool. <laughs> yeah. So I you know, I just want to say I want to talk about Google a little bit. This is exciting. You know, it, when when uh, Apple decided to jump in and do this, it was exciting. Google's coming in, jumping in and do this. It's exciting. You know, uh, LG getting in with with Meta and building this next headset with Meta, uh, the 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 Quest Pro Two or whatever it's going to be. You know, that's exciting. Um, yeah. You know, getting these these big companies back into virtual reality, back into augmented reality, making glasses, making headsets, you know, making wearables. Wearables are, you know, is the, are the future. I don't, you know, I mean, I, I think we all think that, you know what I mean? Or you wouldn't be here right now. Um, so I think it's, I think it's a big deal and uh, super happy. Yeah. It's super exciting. I, I love all this news, right? Everyone says that VR is dead. I'm sick of hearing Everybody that. said PC VR is dead, Todd. Yeah. And D, P, is PC VR dead, D? Not dead, but maybe just resting for something maybe hopefully big coming in the future maybe they said pc vr is more popular now than it has been in the last two years two the numbers three, yeah. from, the yeah. numbers from valve are showing that we're seeing an increase in pc vr not the opposite way we're seeing growth not death you know where everybody right. thought that we were it was over and done with um you know we're seeing bigger numbers and you know some of the things that that some of the things that were showing the you know uh, incorrect numbers or you know numbers with there was weird data that was added into to steam's numbers when they give the number of pc vr users and one of those numbers is they give you the number of users in china the problem is most of those users in china don't have steam vr they don't get the games that were available to us so you can't take china's numbers if they don't have pc vr available to them excuse the number system that's so right. basically what they're saying now is w between that and between, you know, a couple of other issues, if you look at the actual numbers, there is growth in PC VR, not the opposite way. Now, is it huge growth? No. Um, you know, but I mean, if you look, because if you look at the percentage, it's not a big number, but it's growth where we thought it was dead. And I think a couple of things, you know, a couple of things are, are bringing that back. I think one, UEVR mod is huge. The yeah, UEVR I think that injector. had a huge resurgence, big time. Absolutely, so, you know that forced players that it forced me to go onto the Steam store and just start looking up Unreal Engine games that I could buy and play in VR. And but those numbers don't count against yep. Steam VR players. Uh, I love this the number. Could even better. No, absolutely, and I think it will. I think you're right. 
Yeah. Um, this is a great, uh, we have Derek Liu uh, from DPVR in chat, and there's another headset. I do have one back yeah. here. Uh, DPVR was very nice uh, nice enough to send me one of their headsets to try, and uh, I, I absolutely loved it. One. Great yeah. VR headset. They have a new one coming. But yeah. he says, I'm not dead. We are just getting started at DPVR. And that's another one. I apologize, Derek, because uh, you know we were talking about people making VR headsets still in the market, still doing the good work of making you know VR headsets, making good PC VR headsets. And yeah. that would be DPVR. Uh, he says we have had had 180 um, percent year uh, year on year growth. Laugh out loud. How can PCVR de be dead? And I agree, man. It. it ain't dead. Yeah, exactly. You know, and, and then DPVR is awesome too because number one, Todd, it's a DisplayPort PCVR headset. It's like which the we only don't, one, right? We don't have many, man. We don't have many. Like Pico literally, Link at one point was available with it, but that you can't get that anymore unless you buy used. 100. Like, percent yeah they're smart and and i think they've they've they're leaning into um location-based vr which that that's just a great idea a necessity so to be able to put that port onto the consumer level as well is super smart because that lives, gives us all the better you know visuals that we want inside the headset agreed i mean one of the biggest problems roots roots from virtual strangers has been saying for years he just wants a headset that he can use a display port cable and not a USB C port or a mm -hmm. USB A port or you know however you want to hook it up give me the USB C cable you, i don't uh, want compression the, the i just display want native cable. display right you know? you know and and it just seems like nobody's doing it right now like like i don't even think we're going to see it in any even on any of the new headsets like i think everything is going to be USB C which i think will get better with compression and with a, it, with uh, with signal degradation um so i don't think it's going to be as as bad as it used to be um but you know again dpvr is still one of the only ones out there that's doing a display port cable. and you're right man we played um we played that godzilla experience um oh at ces so, so the, the, the 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 location-based company raw thrills who makes a lot of your awesome arcade cabinets that you see at dave and busters or any of these awesome places like jurassic park game where you're the shooter jurassic park game that you see in an arcade uh, they made one that's they made a raw thrills one that's that's a um uh godzilla game me and todd got a chance to play and you're using you know it's in vr and you're using the dp vr headset and man, on, the, on the moving thing and you're yeah, yeah it's the it, motion rig oh, and mo oh dude. man it was so cool uh yeah uh, derek says soon 4k micro oled will be coming um soon for oh show. yeah now micro 4k micro oled that's kick <laughs> we're talking all right, Derek, send me that headset. I'm ready yeah. to test it. Send me it. that headset, Derek. I want to <laughs> try it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so there's a couple of things that I, I just want to... We'll follow up with this. Why PC VR is probably on a resurgence and, and not the decline everybody thought it was. And Wes, and Wes from Virtual Strangers has said, it, said a couple of things uh, here. Um, number one, PCs are way cheaper than they used to be. It, I mean, the last th three to five years or the whole crypto era... PCs were out of control. You couldn't buy a PC. Number one, you couldn't find one, even if you wanted to buy one. Crypto mining, um, man. Guys like me screwing it for everybody. Todd, exactly. <laughs> Todd was a freaking crypto miner. I wanted to kill him. I almost. Ugh. But no, graphic seriously. cards have finally dropped uh, yeah, to a regular price, and now PC prices have come way down. It's yeah. great to see. Yeah, I mean, you could get PCs, but you weren't getting a good graphics card inside your right. PC, or if you could get a graphics card at all. Uh, and, you know, and then what was happening was, you know, the the games themselves were removing at such a rapid pace that some of the older graphic cards could not keep up anymore. So you were bottlenecking all these old graphics cards, all the old PC VR players, not allowing them to play the good new P, you know, PC VR games. The new players aren't going to PC because they can go play standalone. So you had a weird time where you couldn't afford a new PC or a new graphics card. And then the people that already had their their graphics cards couldn't play any of the new games anyway because they were like too advanced for their 1060 or whatever, yeah. you know, their potato, you know, graphics card. You know what I mean? Um, so it was a weird spot, Todd. You just you just couldn't. Uh, PC VR was in a tr in trouble at that point. Yeah, and it wasn't the fault of the developer; it was demand. And then COVID happened, fault. which made it even worse. And now we couldn't get parts, and we couldn't get. Yeah, it was my fault. <laughs> it was your fault. <laughs> Uh, but it was just a it's just a string of bad luck after bad luck. Um, and why would a developer develop Steam VR games if nobody can buy a game a gaming machine that'll play the game? So it was a double edged sword, and it's all gone. Yeah, so and, and hit, here was the deal the too. And here here's what happened too. It, PC VR was the boom of the VR age. Uh, big companies were putting millions and millions of dollars 
behind high budget VR, PC VR titles. And then they just didn't see the return. They didn't right. see the return because the player base wasn't there yet. It was too soon, too fast. And then, you know, when they didn't make the money and they were like losing their shirts, a lot of them backed out. That's why some of the older classic PC VR games are as good or better than some of the games that you'll see today because they were such high quality, high dollar, you know, high budget games that they were, they, even today they hold up. Go play Stormland today. Yeah. Stormland today is still, you put, if Stormland launched right now on PC VR, the, the current state it is in now, people would be like, man, this game is fantastic. You know, go yeah. play Lone Echo, the original Lone Echo. The original one, yeah. And go look at that now, and you'd be like, man, if that game launched today, it would be one of the best games out there. Go look at games like, you know, um, Wilson's Heart, you know what I mean, which had, like, an epic cast of well-known uh, actors. Voice actors, and yeah. You know, Edge of Nowhere, um, mm -hmm. you know, like, uh, the, the, the Senua's Sacrifice. Look at, think about that. Um, Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice, or is it Sunday? Uh, Hell, uh, was it Hellblade? Yeah, Hellblade. Um, you know, that came out and they made a VR version of it. It came out flat first. And then they had a VR version that was official. To the point now where they're like, nah, we're not going to do it. We're not, we're, you know, the new, the new Senua game is not going to have a VR port. So they say there's no plans for it. Um, you know, it will be Unreal 5, so you'll be able to use the injector mod and play it. But, right. you know, back then, I don't think it was a thought for them. People were putting millions of dollars into games. So I think back then they were like, eh, let's put it in there. Let's, you know, it was, and it was a great freaking game, man. You, you play that game today. You play that game today. And that was played with a game yeah. pad, by the way. Yeah. Um, it would blow you away like today. So, uh, I don't know. Some of those games were, were fantastic back then. So it was just a bad story. Uh, it was just a bad spot for PC VR. Um, go ahead. Read you got that. a $10 super chat, a 10 British pound super chat Want from uh, Hussein X says, wanted to say thanks for all the fantastic, entertaining VR shows that you do. Oh, thank you. Appreciate thank that. You, we, 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 really, we really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, let's see. Air Force One says, PC for me falls into play, uh, PS2 PC thing. Uh, $500 or $1,000 PC gaming console. Use my Quest 3. Um, just not, I, I get it. You know, Quest 3 is, is 500 bucks. It's easy. It's just like, it's, it's like that cycle of having to buy a, a PlayStation 5 and a PlayStation VR 2 headset and that being, you know, $1,200. Um, you know, I don't, it, I don't think you're missing out, right? Like, there's so many good games on the Quest headset that if, if it's just outside of your budget, don't feel bad. Like, you're, you've got a Quest 3 for God's sakes. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it is. And, you know, but but I think there is something to be said for if you can now go and put together a decent computer. You don't have to go. I mean, look, everybody you wants a 4090. Yeah, yeah right. every, everybody need. wants a 4090. OK, I get it. Right. But God, if you went out today, Todd, I don't even know you, you're a computer guy you're in the market. What could you go get a, like a decent computer for with a 2080? Honestly, a I have no idea. I mean, I got to say you're probably under $2,000. You're probably under 50. You might be like 1500 bucks. You could probably look it up real quick. You could probably get something like a 20. You could probably get a good 20 series, maybe a low 30 series for 1500, um, maybe a thousand. You think you, you think so? Wow. That's good. I would think so. I mean, I haven't priced on it. D, you've been pricing stuff, but you've been buying sure. high end shit. <laughs> well, yeah, even, even with my 4080, it was 1200. Well, again, that's a 40 so, series. I get it. I mean, that's right. going to be expensive because it's a brand new, it's a brand new card, but I think you can go get, um, yeah. Virtual stranger says you could do it, do that for under a thousand bucks, man. I mean, that's affordable. Yeah, now. That's good. Do you know the library? If think about this, you already, if you already have your VR headset, if you already have a quest three, okay. Do you know the library that would open up to you? If you had just, if you could just go pick up a PC for a thousand bucks, I just priced out a PC on best buy.com. So the American side of best buy. For a Acer Predator pre-built computer with a 12th generation i7 processor, 16 gigs RAM of DDR5, wow. and a 3080 with a 110 Gen 4 SSD for 1400 bucks. Wow, that is a kick-ass computer with good. a 3080. I mean, <laughs> fuck, I'm running a 3080 freaking Ti in my computer. This is pretty good. <laughs> I mean, I'm running a 3080 Ti, and look, uh, I mean, there's a couple of things that I have a difficulty running, but God, 3080 Ti, I can run pretty much everything. Um. But God, so that was how much? Fourteen hundred? Yeah. 
So Wes is absolutely on board. You, you could get a 20 series. You could get, probably get a low 30 series or a, you know, a good, like a 2080 TI or like a 2080 super for under a, th a thousand or under. That's, yeah. Do you know the library that would open up for you at that point? That's why I think you're seeing a resurgence now. These as headsets get you. cheaper. Think about this. Yep. Think about when you can go get a quest light. Okay. For 250 bucks or go get a quest two for 150 bucks right now. If you go to Walmart, right? Well, if Walmart, it's a $200 headset for the quest two right now. I think you get a $50 coupon or something like that. I mean, that might be over, but whatever. At one point you could get them for 150 bucks for a brand new quest two. Yeah. You go get a computer for 800 to a thousand bucks. Do you know the library that you have of amazingness? Yeah, I had no idea the prices had come down that low. I mean, that is incredible. Like if you, and again, if you already have the headset, if you have a Quest 3, that, 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 entry you don't need point, a piece. You don't need a big screen beyond. You don't need a Pimax. No. You have a Quest 3, that'll do it yeah. all. So, yeah. No, no I mean, you're going gonna, gonna to want to. Yeah, no. <laughs> when I first, though. when I first made the transition to PC VR and, played after the fall for the first time on PC VR. I, I, I said it and I still say it to this day. I will never play it on the quest two, unless I absolutely have to standalone. I won't. It's, yeah, it's standalone, VR yeah. with that game all day, but you know, quest two quest two is a kick-ass headset on a PC. Right. You go take that quest two, you hook it up to your freaking 4090. Man, you're on your way to you can play it all. Probably yeah, some exactly. of the best graphics you've ever seen in your life, and then you can do all these Unreal mods now. Oh, so, yeah. think, uh, so that's what I'm saying here too. Like, think about the 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 entry point now. How much easier it is. How much less expensive it is. And again, just I, I'm not even talking about. Let's not talk about the Unreal uh, Injector mod for a minute. Just the just the library that you have and just pure stand uh, built from the ground up VR PC VR games to play. Then you add in. The you know the un you know Prey Dogs Unreal Injector mod, which has every un not every but most Unreal Four and Unreal Five games that are at least somewhat playable in here, and some play freaking amazing. D, how good is Returnal in VR? It, it it's freaking amazing. I I it it's I oh, dude, I I can't it take it. I can't talk. It's that great. <laughs> it's that good. <laughs> Words. Words no work. Yeah. <laughs> I like Philo. She said, just tried Lone Echo on the Quest 3 recently. It's so yeah. clear with the link cable. It, it's so good, dude. It's so good. Like, I love Lone Echo, by the way. We, nobody talks about Lone Echo anymore. Lone Echo, Lone Echo 2. The, the, one, the two, one, some of the best gaming. Like, those are awesome said games. something here, too. Uh, see if I can find it. It was a... Uh um about the forest sons of the yeah, forest sons of the Secret forest of the forest yeah they're not making that game that they didn't make the vr port because there wasn't enough people playing vr and yeah. now i think if they had waited at you know six eight months for that game to release now they would have probably changed their mind and made it vr we a lot of a lot of you know vr people you know um you know wes roots myself um i you know, i even think you know the, the between realities guys um gamer tag a lot of people we have all been saying for the last couple of years, these things come in waves and you have mm -hmm. highs and you have lows. And, you know, currently right now for the last few years, the standalone has been on a huge high as PC VR has fallen off because of the reasons that we just went over. But we said for years, it's, it's going to come in peaks and valleys. You know, it's, you're going to have another big heyday for PC VR at some point. You're going to see it. Like, again, Entry points are getting way lower. Headsets are getting cheaper. Computers are getting cheaper. When you have those numbers start to go back up and developers start to see that people are there, they will start to develop games for the PC again. Or at least they'll make it to where they're going to make a standalone and a good PC version. Like, we need to get those days back where it's not just, I'll make the Quest version and maybe I'll make a PC version, but if I do, it'll probably be just the Quest version on the PC. No, 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 no. We need no, to see no, some yeah. of those. Yeah, we need to see some of those PC games that are built for the PC that use, you know, to get everything that you can out of the PC. And I think we may not get to the days again where it's those companies spending millions and millions and millions of dollars on budget, but I think we'll get closer. We'll get better. Yeah, it, we'll get it's healthier. not going to come overnight, but it's coming. I'll say yeah, that. for sure. Yeah. 
it's good to see. I'm very, I'm very happy to see these things. I am a PC VR fan. I'm a VR fan in general. I don't care if it's PC VR, if it's standalone, if it's PlayStation console, Nintendo Labo, Virtual Boy, whatever you want. Gear VR, the Go. If <laughs> you're you still see? sporting your Go and you're still hanging out playing uh, three off VR and your Go, did you see the pixel you. ripped? What's her, what's uh, Anna, oh, uh, Anna on Ribeiro her, on, her, on her Twitter feed on April first? She posted yes, the, yes, I did with the. Uh, they made a virtual boy version of Pixel Ripped. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. I saw <laughs> so it on, on they some somebody had a uh, a Nintendo Switch with a uh, built into a headset too. Did you see that? It was like oh no, I didn't see that one. And it had Switch Nintendo VR. Switch. Yeah. Oh my god, too funny. Um, Looper the Underground Game says is Arcan Age is coming to the Quest? Is it? Uh, I don't know. That's a great question. I. I I, I I don't know if there's many games that would not come to the quest now that only go to PC. Um, I think those days are hopefully. I think it. you'll see a version, but I, I again I think you'll see always see a version of a game go to go to the quest. But man, I, it's it's very hard nowadays for a v, for a um uh for a company only to make games for PC. It, it just because again the the market's not quite there yet. Like if you only made it for PC. Like again, I could see people doing both. You know, make it make a version that's Quest, and then go put some money into making a really good PC VR version that I could see, um, because it's getting closer to being viable. But how do you give up the standalone market? Um, you know, until it gets more parity. But I think you need to have both. I mean, I, I don't know if we'll ever get to the point where you're just doing one or the other. Like I, I don't. I, I think I don't know. Even, like even the, when PC VR comes back, they're going to do both. Yeah, but the graphics, you know progression and the technology behind pc components is growing exponentially faster than that of vr headsets at the moment so whether whether they'll ever catch up to the same type of quality availability on each i can't see that happening anytime soon but agreed that, that would be nice um it's gonna be a good year for vr i think um you know in in wrapping this up i think uh 2020 2023 was a little bit of a tough year 2024 kind of started out a little bit weird um i think we're gonna have a good year we have some headsets coming we have some good games coming um you know hopefully we'll see a resurgence for playstation here um you know in playstation vr2 and uh and uh, yeah i'm excited I'm, i can't wait to see some of these awesome headsets and very cool all right guys i think that is going to be it for us tonight i don't think it do you have anything else you want to talk about we're going to stream uh... Saturday. I, I definitely would like to stream some Returnal, and that's I'll maybe do that like earlier in the day, and then uh, hit up a half after the a little, fall. A little after the fall, after the uh, fall, I, like we used to do back in the day, yo. Well, come check you us out, make, everybody. You got yeah. oh, dude, it's on a Saturday. Yeah, Saturday night. Come check us out. We'll get a little after the fall action. Uh, we'll check out these new horde maps that they oh, have. Just... We'll go on an epic run. I see 50, 60, 70, 80 rounds here at least. Um, oh, it's been a cool. while for me. I'll, I'll try and watch. I'll be in the mountains sitting in the hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man legitimately thinks. <clears throat> yeah. Go, but again, go I just on a trek to the mountains. Yeah, good for you. I can't wait. Some of the pictures you showed were amazing. I, I want to mm -hmm. go there too. But uh, all right, guys, we're going to say goodnight. Uh, we just want to say again, thank you guys for being here. We appreciate it. Uh, 118 people watching right now across all the, the platforms we have. We really, 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 really appreciate it. You guys are amazing. We appreciate everything that you do to help support us. And then, uh, you know, come check out Virtual Strangers this weekend. Uh, there's the, yeah. Virtual Strangers this weekend and uh, coming soon. Uh, I think Virtual Snow is Friday. I think Friday and I think Sunday. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, we got something, we'll have something going on, I'm, I'm sure. And then crew cast next week and then, uh, coming soon to you, maybe a, a whole new episode of, uh, reality bites at some point. Absolutely. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your evening mm -hmm. and we'll see you and have a great weekend, uh, for D and Todd. I am Eric. See you soon. Have a good night, guys.